Uh, come on, man, don't do this to me. How about now? <coughs> How about now? Is it working now? Is all good? Green lights from the stream. Yo, I don't know what happened there, bro. It was green lights from the streaming software. Streaming said excellent collection. And then they just dropped while I was talking. No idea what happened. Like, legit no idea. I really don't know why that happened. But let's, uh... I gotta go back through the discords and delete my previous live stream because uh, if they click on that live stream it's gonna go to the what is it four minute video four minute video whatever it is and that's not good right you shouldn't be linking people to live streams that ended quickly so let me quickly fix that because uh that was a blunder on software side i don't think it was internet side was internet side um it says live stream excellent quality i'm sending enough bitrate and um yeah i'm gonna delete that mess oh no look not that um stream sorry i'm gonna delete this oh go back to media okay so we're not gonna post on discord i can't bother to post all that again we will post on our youtube channel though i mean our, di our discord so we go to your channel smiling monster is live yeah copy bang there we go <clears throat> ah everyone yep smiling monster is now live cool so we'll minimize that villager is up and running guild receptionist is good music is fine everything is back to normal okay hello hello welcome back welcome back can i get the answer bro um if you want to raise potion crafting then keep the herbs if you just want money sell them and for breeding don't use focus on breeding just give them the food make sure you have premium if you're doing any farming activities it was lagging for a bit then it cut out i thought it was my end no 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 i'm pretty sure it was my end Yo, dude, that's why I made the video. I made the video before the changes so I can get that video out. Like, yo, the Great Axe is one of the fastest builds. Level it now while you can so you can use it for PvE. I mean, PvP because it's going to get nerfed for PvE. So let's quickly go over the patch note changes. I just got home. Um, I just ate um, lunch. I ate lunch late. I ate it at like 4, 4 p.m. So I just finished eating lunch. Um turned on my computer set everything up the obs went to batshit crazy for like a good what two minutes restarted the stream clicked on the patch notes so let's quickly have a read through the patch notes because i haven't read the patch notes if this is all new to me so if you guys don't know about the patch notes you can read this too yeah axes got nerfed heavily for pve their bleeds all of that well we'll find out now we'll find out now but yeah there's mini games in chat guys you earn um gp which is guild points you can spend the guild points in mini games if you want to find out what mini games are available just go to the description expand it and there's a list of um if sound effects you can do with points and there's a list of um mini games you can play and that will earn you channel points and channel points you want to stockpile right now because later on i'll be adding features such as like you can redeem it for a spin and stuff like that when I was fighting the final boss with my rending rage, more than half of my X bands that made contact with it never even at the edge never even connected. Uh yeah, well there's always bugs after a patch not chain. So Hellgate changes. Uh infamy for Hellgate's been adjusted, scale more quickly, well as to max out 50%. Nearly all players will see an even greater bonus. 
A small number of higher infamy players may see their bonus percentage slightly decrease, but in even cases, overall the loot will significantly go up. So Hellgate increases, which is good. Best writing in CDs is Bloodletter now. No, I'm pretty sure it's Crossbow. Crossbow has insanely good clear speed. And if you get into a fight, you have a chance of winning. Bloodletter for ratting, yes, because you have more mobility. Um, significantly increased rewards across all non-lethal and lethal Hellgate modes. A chest will now appear after any Hellgate is completed, either by killing the opposing team or collecting significant infamy for killing the mobs. So this is a good change. So you're always guaranteed a chest, so you're always, always going to go loot. The chest can now be common, uncommon, rare, or legendary. So standard chest uh, formation increases the value of uncommon, rare chest, legendary chest in Hellgates. Okay, that's good. So you're more likely to get the better chests. Contents of PvP rewards chests are now boosted by infamy as well as containing the value for non-PvP chests would be have contained. Good, good, good. All cooldowns including capes now reset instantly for both teams when the Hellgate is invaded and health and energy is replenished as well. This is a bloody brilliant change. Wow. Most of these changes... I might have to start doing Hellgates. Like, Hellgates, look at this. All these changes are good. Remove delay in matchmaking for chained Hellgate to remove any benefit from waiting in a Hellgate instead of progressing for more loot. Another good change. Knock down players on winning teams now get up immediately when losing team is eliminated. Perfect change. Knock down team players on losing teams are now shielded and will get up immediately when removed from the Hellgate. Additional bigger entrances to the final combat, the ritual map to make it more challenging to defend. Yo, so basically all the Hellgate changes, good changes. Oh, the Hellgate changes are good changes. Well, uh, best track. By the way, I bought four islands premium and then I got four poisons, tier four poisons and doom workers. So the question is, should I craft best quality that I can? Mastery is 57 out of 100 quarter staff and 47 in specs. Any tips? Uh, focus on one thing. If you want to go quarter staff, focus on the quarter staff. If you've bought islands and you're going for food and potions, focus on um, the food and potion side. Do them calling it curses the future. Curse is the future, but it's easily countered by um, Guardian Helmet. And since Guardian Helmet is meta right now, it's going to be a bit difficult for Curse. Yo, Krokami, what's up, man? Is the name coming? Oh. I didn't... Stop. Um, that card, man. So... But do copy it? Come on, copy on it. Ah, copy it. It's too nice. Ah, but too much better, man. Guardian is nerfed above forty percent now. Yeah, it is. Well, oh, is it? Did they? Imp well, let me go through the changes and then we'll see what happens. Faction warfare changes. Faction warfare respawns now occur in batches to help rally more forces. Respawning forces. Okay. A respawning now waits for the next available time slot. Base respawns times have been reduced from 24 to 16 seconds, leaving average base times relatively unchanged. You can get back into the fight, but for yellow zones, this can be a bit busted. The bandit assault in the red zones now occurs more frequently, as well as more unpredictably, and no longer starts between 8.30 to 9 UTC. I added new hotkeys for Faction Warfare UI, which is Shift F. Okay, that's good. Facts and standing upkeep is now shown in the weekly reports. Good, good, good. Yo, I came in time for the patch review. Yes, you did, man. But I mean, what am I doing on alt? So, you know, the main thing is, should I craft best quality or should I just do tier 4 T5s? Right now, do tier 4 T5s, get specs on quite a lot of the, the branches and then pick one and level it. You want to get the other specs to like 40 because it gives you focus cost reduction bonus and that's going to help you out near the start. That's what I would do. 20 v 20 changes dramatically improved the value of artifacts and rewards chest after matches. Good change. The amount of artifacts has not been reduced, increasing overall chest value drastically. Chests now contain artifacts of the following tier. Rune artifacts, tier 7 or higher. Soul artifacts, relic artifacts, tier 5 or higher. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I get it now. Avalon artifacts all tiers. That's good. Reduces season points for winning level one matches to make it more worthwhile to participate in two plus. In comparison, season points for winning level one 20 v 20s is now five to two. Oh, that's a that's a 60 70 percent nerf right there. Reduced spawning. 
I mean reduce starting points for each team to lower the overall gear cost per match and shorter matches also means fewer casualties on both sides starting points 250 to 200 good so you can practice fighting faster um changes to black zone and elite veteran fame buff Ooh, interesting buff now persists when moving between black zone regions good overall duration reduced from 10 minutes to um reduced to 10 minutes so it was 15 now it's 10 10 is not bad buff is removed if leaving the black zone within the following rules for this buff randomized and static dungeons enter via the black zone entrances are considered black zones the buff will thus not be removed when entering these dungeons though it will drop off naturally after 10 minutes so that's good you can use it to anything anything in the black zone for this buff roads of avalon hellgates and corrupted dungeons are not considered black zones even if you enter from the black zone and thus will cancel the debuff okay so if you're doing corrupted dungeons it takes a hit but everything else is good oh roads of avalon yeah roads of avalon it's not considered black zone because you're teleporting avalonian dungeons is considered so you can do that Mobile changes. Optimize the region loading, which is good because it normally takes a long time to load in mobile. Characters under the effects of ended by interactions must now pick up the silver manually to correct an issue where auto pickup could end buffs unintentionally. Well, I didn't know this. This existed. Various additional UI improvements. So overall, good changes for the mobile. This can be 50-50. Dual changes. Triants no longer can be used during duels. Oh, that's good. Uh, leaving the dual arena during the countdown is now considered as a draw previously it was a loss so what people would do is they do you for money they would do you for money knock you out of the arena with like wind walls bedrock maces night armors all of that and then you'd lose the money um, duels can no longer be initiated when the opponent at different height levels oh so depending on the terrain you can't do um duels um so you're saying is to get around 40 on each quarter weapon and then focus one if you can yes get 40 at least get 20 20 is not that hard to get it's a couple days crafting each one um but if you have one that's already like further ahead focus on that one sell the um crafted items the profit you get from that you want to buy the materials and then craft again without focus you're gonna lose a bit of profit but it's gonna help you in the long run that was a scam with duels in the conqueror's hall people duel from above the name similar to names or the bottom and you can't hit the oh no way i didn't know that duel existed holy shit that that okay so that's a that's the perfect change for dueling hey smiling what is the best labor for carleon i'm using imbuers but i don't know what is good um okay so if we go youtube you go to my channel videos you click on this video this video is coming out tomorrow but i've already posted the link so you guys can get um a heads up you click on the albion laborers tool you go to city you're in carleon just pick any one of these it doesn't matter you press submit and then this is what you're going to pay attention to bang it tells you what laborer what to house how much profit you're making per journal this is the these are the rules you can read that if you want to but this is basically what you need to know so if you're doing tier 7 currently oh no everything's making a loss this is okay so tier 4 fletchers so if you're buying materials and books right now you might be making a loss but if you're doing an oh labor routine this could make you profit <coughs> How do I widescreen on laptop? Um, I'm not too sure because I have it on PC. Everything has a loss. Maybe it's because somebody's bought the journals and the API is updated to show um, loss because he's bought them above the market price. Give it a couple of days. If not, I just do tier fives because tier fives will make you profit. But for the few days that the market calculator is messing up, do tier fives. It will help. Um other changes and improvements reduce loading times when transporting between zones on all platforms good reworked visual effects of dropping silver and loot bags oh, that okay changes look at the tier 5 stone cutter and four sterling i don't think it's quite right four sterling tier 5 tier 5 stone cutter yeah so if you see oddities like this all of this 
um, that means like this minus 180,000. That might be true because it's a gathering one. But things like this, you got to be careful because somebody might have bought something by accident. They bought a journal for like 200,000 per journal, stuff like that. So that affects the API, that affects this price as well because everything is run by the Albion Online Data Project. So just be careful when seeing these numbers, you might get really happy. If it's like this, just be careful. Should I buy them? I mean, I got tons of rares and the only thing is focus is stopping me from crafting more. So if that's the only thing stopping you, buy the lower tiers, craft them, sell them again, or you can um, study them. So you lose more profit studying, but you'd level up your specs faster, which means you'll be getting your focus cost reduction um, lower faster and it means you'll be making profit faster so it depends on the style you want to kids Anton guten tag willkommen in the dunkle light we have in kexi oh by the way when i said tier 5 does it mean tier 5 journals or tier 5 um laborers i think it means the journals everything is based on journals and houses not the laborers it's either based on your house tier or your journal um labor tier and it also depends on if it's 115% or 150%. I think it's going to go off um, tier 5 to 5, so that'll be 115%. But if it's um, tier 5 to 6, then it will be 150% and you'll be making more profit. Is Faction Warfare profitable? Yes, it is profitable. It's fun too if you enjoy big fights. Cool, so next up, combat balance changes. Okay, so this is where we get to the good stuff. While Black Hole finds its use in PvE, in, K in cost range has been increased. The cost range has been increased to make it more attractive for PvP, but Just Month Dark Spirit is primarily for server performance as it reduces from 5 to 3 auras to ensure better performance in light. So you can cost the Witchrock stuff better, which is good. Eversong gets a little bit of a nerf in target area, but it gets a buff in the, the percentages, so kind of balanced. Axes have been overrepresented in a variety of content types. While it's because it's sustain, while the constant sustained damage and healing reduction is part of the weapon's identity, the value of axe weapon getting from their Q abilities was a bit overwhelming, making it hard for the other melee weapon trees to compete. Additionally, the options of counterplay and skill expression for rending spin and raging blades have been improved with sweet spot damage ring to increase the importance of player positioning. The readability of visual effects was also improved for various abilities. A journey boost was changed to, to improve its ability to chase down the target offensively while also reduces its use as an easy disengage. And stand time was added to raise a cut to add more commitment to the ability and weaken its easy disengage potential. Vampire Extract was reworked to the new ability Blood Bandit to make this weapon more dynamic and allow more skill expressions during the fights. I don't like this change. Um, what do you think about the axe nerf? It's some of it's deserved, some of it isn't. But um, balance changes are balance changes. I did yesterday with 100k cloth, and no, you cannot use unless no, unless you use spec. Is it better for me to study the tier four things to be able to spec up my crafting mastery for specific cloth armor? Am I crafting, or is it better to sell? So if you need money, then you sell. If you don't mind taking a bit of a loss, then you study because if you study, but Actually, I would sell, wait for the 25% XP boost whenever the next one is, and then study, because you'll get better benefits from studying there. Great X feels a lot slower now. Some packs can't be cleared just by one E. Yeah, it got a big nerf. Which cape is the best to craft? Um, all faction capes or... Yeah, most faction capes make profit, actually. Rest in peace, Xs. Yep. How much profit is faction warfare? It depends on your group. If you're good at speed clearing, if you're capturing, if you're PvPing, there's so many um, variables, it's hard to tell. But it is decent profit. I really, really like the new Battle Ox. It's so fun to play with. Interesting. I The changes on paper don't sound that good, but I'll have a look. You don't like the Battle Ox change? The E was so boring. Are the chat commands active now? Yeah, the chat commands are active now. Uh, if you want to know the chat commands, just click on the description, expand the description, and it will tell you. Oh, let me do a bonus. Bang. I've activated bonus, so everybody gets bonus points. With the new adrenaline boost update, do you think attack speed bear pulls will be a thing? They definitely will be a thing, but now you have to commit. So you'd use your sprint to commit to the fight, to like engage, 
And then if they try and run away, you need to adrenaline rush before they run away so you get the auto attack in. What should you buy with faction points? Mountain crests and um Yeah, cape cape uh token things. So battle axe normal attack speed. So the attack speed goes up, the damage goes down, so kind of balanced out by the percentages. Rendering spin reduced by one meter. Minimum distance is 2.5. So you can't just stand on top of the mob pack and do it. You have to be like positioning. Rendering Bleast Tech now applied via maximum distance, either 2.5 or further. Oh, okay. So it's going to be harder to stack bleeds. Rending Rage damage decreased. Rending Bleed Stack ticks. 20% uh, damage nerf. Healing reduction, 8% damage nerf. Adrenaline boost, 10%. Movement speed nerf. Now increases the attack speed by 40%, but you get insane attack speed. So if you pair the attack speed with the increased attack of certain weapons and then you do the bleeds on the passives it could be a good way to attack you also get the duration increase as long as you auto attack energy cost is down which is useful um more attack speed is a buff because it happens deep cuts and the other things like that yeah exactly internal bleeding improved detection time moving versus standing tick intervals a 0.5 damage is reduced by half well, this is practically the same thing. You reduce the tick intervals, but you reduce the damage. So that was a weird ass change, but okay. Uh, Raging Blades axes now hits a ring around the caster instead of a solid circle. 2.5, 6 meter. Vampiric Strike Batter is called Blood Bandit. So you can throw this now. Throw your axe at a targeted, deals physical damage to all enemies, and slows them for 20% for 2 seconds, still percentage health. So you could heal more with this because you can hit multiple enemies depending on the rendering bleeds charges. Throw has gone down so it's on par with like bow Qs. 22 was a bad on ease and waiting bow ease distance which goes to like halfway across the screen. Well win so the great axe the king of speed clearing has been nerfed. Channel time reduced by 2 seconds damage is 50 75 versus mobs I mean versus players. Mobs damage unchanged. Cooldown has increased by 5 seconds. The channel is now interruptible. This change was much needed. But they nerfed the identity, which was PvE speed clears king. Now it's an old cave weapon for PvE and PvE. It's there's no like it's a middle ground. There's no like good or bad. Instead, the ability now consumes 4 energy per tick while channeling. Total of 24 energy full control. Bear paw stand time is 0.3 seconds. Not that much of a change, but you gives you time to dodge. Blood Bandit is super strong. I'll have to look into that, man. I'll have to look into that. Multi shot. Yeah, this was a much needed change. I use bows, but multi shot was so strong. You'd knock them back every four seconds, deal quite a bit of damage. It was just insane kiting potential. Like keep away builds, as it says. Undead. Um, nope, this is not a change I would do. The damage increase is welcome, but they need to get rid of the defense. Um, so the 25% damage increase is killing the weapon because every time you do it, you're basically taking a shit ton of damage for nothing. The trade-off isn't worth it in my opinion. They need to reduce it or they need to make it like a ramp up. So the more you have it active, the more uh, defense reduction or the more damage increase. That would be a good way to do it. Crossbows, uh, the projectiles, much better. It's good to know. Various underused curse staff's abilities were buffed like Dark Matter Curse Beam. The range of Vile Curse was increased. Okay, so curses... They got a buff. Let's see. Vile curses increased by two meters. Good. Armor piss. Little reduction. Debuff. Yeah, so armor piss got a little reduction. Curse beam now consumes vile curse stacks for additional AoE damage per tick. Good and bad. But each tick consumes the beam deals 20, 72 magic damage in a four meter radius instead of the base tick of 36. Okay, that's that's not bad. Interval decrease. Nice. Total number of ticks increased. Nice. Ah, oh, but the damage is more than halved. I don't know why they're doing it like this. Like, I really don't know why they're doing it like this. All cursed off dark matter. Damage increase. Damage increase. Cast time decrease, which is good. Range increase, good. Jump distance increase, which is also good. Curse skull. Damage can no longer be reflected. Magic per tick. So curse skull is going to be the new one of the new weapons. That like one of the new metal weapons. 
Dagger pairs have been really strong in 2v2 Hellgates. The shortened cast time made it impossible to react to certain situations, so the cast time has been reverted. It is no longer duration from before the last update. Its damage has also been reduced. So they buffed the dagger pair and then they nerfed it for no reason. Like, they buffed it for no reason and then they nerfed it. I don't enjoy that change. Curse changes aren't needed at all, especially the orb, the curse beam ones. They're doing whatever they want to do with balance changes. It's up to them how they do it, though. So, slit throat, increased cast time, reduced to 7%. Lunge and stabs gets a cast time. I don't like that. Melee weapon shouldn't have stand time. Melee weapon shouldn't have stand time. But, you know, it's... Red letter has been strong, so... I guess they want to nerf it in a way. Not that much of a nerf, but anyway. Cones are now quickly swipes from left to right, converting more horizontal space. Okay, so instead of going like that, it goes like that. Enemies now hit receive additional 75% damage if clue DO2 is active on them. So more damage for five staff. Whole frost changes look like it's cast time reduced. Damage to target. Flash damage reduced, radius increased, cast range decreased. One handed, so the stacks, it can be considered a buff or it can be considered, it depends how you look at it. Some people consider it a buff, some people consider it a nerf. Hammers, ground pound made it fairly easy to hit enemy clamps in large fights. It has been toned down in various ways to make it more relatable to enemies. Poor enemies, especially in smaller group sizes, they didn't need to change the hammers. Iron break. Offered too much armor shred for its low cooldown and has now been reduced slightly. Heavy key is now heavy smash and area was improved to make it easier to land. And the sweet spot was added in the center to damage. Deals extra damage. And chase way to increase potential max damage. Slightly cast the flex upon the weapon makes the ground interaction consistent. Fairly small quality of life improvement changes. Normal attacks one of the hammer have reduced and received a minor buff. So attack speed increase but damage decrease. So this will be good for stun, uh, understandable, not really interested in hammers. Growth Keeper, a little bit of a nerf. Holy Staffs, here we go, great Holy Staff cooldown. Holy Expulsion has been reduced cooldown. Ticks, gone down by one, healing has increased. Plus Explosion, uh, okay change. Life Touch, a little bit of an increase in ticks, so okay. Celestial Sphere, Redemption Staff, Cast Time, Hit Delay. Okay, so there is a Hit Delay between the Bouncing Balls. Halo Fall, it's still a broken weapon. This change isn't going to change nothing. It's still pretty busted. Maces, Cam Lemmates were too effective. So range is reduced and projectile increase, like pool range is reduced. Nature Staffs have been alpha pumped by Holy Staff for a while to bring back in PvC. Reduced finishing has been improved. Oh! Significantly with higher healing output, more range, and shorter cast time, it is now easier to stack on group members while providing more healing value. Interesting. Additionally, Krenz Hill now offers a burst heal W slot ability, giving nature more options when pressured. It also allows for interesting interactions with stack management and adds a layer of decision making for healers who considered whether to use cleanse or save it for the burst heal. So increased rejuvenation, cooldown decreased, range increased, good. Now has the mechanic that we just talked about, so can be an interesting change. Druidic Seed, energy cost down. The spell can now be recast again within 2.5 seconds, but stacking it twice the same amount will override the first cast. Rampant Staff touches the spirit animal, instantly heals 60 based on the healing value increase. Additional healing per ally is decreased. Quarter Star, finally, they get the movement nerf. No more cutting forever, so movement speed reduced. Buff duration reduced, good. Stun duration reduced, good. Heavy cleave, adjusted the area up to a vault. Good. Stand time increased. Knockback decreased. Good, good. Range, good. Quarter staff need enough. Now everybody's gonna go grow seeker. Spears, some took down corrupted, still was a bit too high. Yeah, so. Corrupts, yeah. Spirit Hunter got a bit of nerf. These changes are intended to make swords more fluid. They give sword tree weapons good synergy with ability trigger on hit. Broadsword. Attack per second. Increased. Damage decreased. So attack speed increases but damage decreases. Offhand. Scepter. So none of the heavy CC duration builds no more. It's been reduced by half. 
more than half the Lyran Kane CC duration. Aegis Shield Defense reduced by 20%. Helmets Emergency sh Energy Shield for Scholar Cow reduced by a second. Energy Shield now it's good. Guardian Helmet so above 40%, under 50%. They've changed it like that. So now the go-to builds are Spectre Jacket. I mean, Spectre Hood, Mercenary Jacket. Because that is the amount of sustain you'll need. Spectre Hood, Mercenary Jacket is going to be meta. Like it, it has been meta, but it's going to be even more meta now. So Spectre Jacket and Force Field Life Aura Changes. The Spectre Jacket logic was reworked to improve server performance, which also limited the number of enemies it hit could hit. As a result, it now deals damage even with the caster is shielded or invulnerable. So that's an okay change. But the general damage was thus reduced. So that's the bad change. Additionally, to make it more effective in item power dependent settings, it now uses a percentage of the enemy's max health to determine the damage instead of a flat value. So that's kind of a good change. Force field was very strong for a tank in 5v5, which also gives front lines too many survivability. The resistance from the area was thus slightly reduced. So Hellion Jacket, this is good change, no stand time or no hit delay. This is a nerf. This is okay change. Mountain Battle Mounts, finally the Pest Lizard nerf, you can't get change CC'd. And then a bunch of other fixes that we're not going to go to. So yeah, there you go. Those are the changes. My solo leveling background, I turn it on and off using Wallpaper Engine. Any Halo 4 nerf? Yeah, the Halo 4's got a range nerf, but that's about it. It was only a range nerf, nothing else. Which is kind of sad, because Halo 4 can be quite busted. Sorry, I wasn't reading chat, I was reading the patch notes, so I get the idea. So we can get that out of the way, and we can start the money-making stream, and I can start answering your questions. So, what is the dice thing? The... Oh, if you're new to the channel, if you go to the channel description, there's a bunch of mini games you can play in chat. When you play the mini games, you earn GP, which is guild points. You, you have joined the Smining Monster Guild, guild points. And you can use the guild points to play more mini games. You get guild points by playing the mini games. And you get guild points by um, watching the stream and being active on the stream. And then later on, so right now, just stockpile the guild points. Because later on, I'm going to be implementing rewards for the guild points. Such as, like, um, you can get an often crafted by me. You can spend the day with me. You can tell me to do corrupted dungeons. It's basically like the Twitch channel points. But I've made it YouTube style and I'm adding my little flair to it. So basically the chat is like a mini adventurers game where you go to guild adventure. Um, the guild receptionist will tell you if you want to go on a quest, how many points you have, what your rank is. And um, I'm basically the guild leader. So you watch me do guild activities and then you have like a corner where you can play mini games you have another corner where there's like the arena where you can fight bosses and fight each other and you can duel and then you have like a whole bunch of, it's like a mini fantasy adventure setting that i've um, tra I'm, that I'm trying to create so right now it's still all in the testing phases stuff might change but um yeah two kids got really lucky because instead of it being times 10 it was times 100 and he won 15,000 points instead of 1,500 points so he got really lucky and he's the leader in points right now Jokes on you, I did content with you without spending points. Yeah, but not anymore, bro. Hey, smiling. So I was maxing Great X for fame credits farm on Cursed Dungeon, but now I'm thinking respecking on something else. Any suggestions? Never respec. Keep the spec in what it is. Never respec. It is not worth auto respecking. For, like, I mean, it's worth auto respecking, but it's not worth it when you reduce something. But if you do this, it's not worth it. It's never worth it to do this. But if you're using it to do this, it's worth it. I would suggest crossbows for good speed clearing. Nah, man, I'm broke. Feels bad, man. What? No, you're not. Top five. Top five time. <laughs> you bet one and then you won two good points. So the current leaders in points are Mystery two K Wow, Mystery overtook you. You gambled all your points away, JJ and Frank. And the top five users based on hours is pretty much the same people. Oh, the last two get changed. Any crossbow, light crossbow, bolt casters. Those are the two I recommend. Because bolt casters is used for um, quite a lot of other content. 
and light crossbows is used for the other side of the content where bow cost is not used but if you want just two weapons that um are really good light crossbow and bow casters hands down one of the best weapons in one of the best two weapons in the crossbow tree let me give you guys a boost a bonus again bonus bang there you go you guys if you participate in chat you get bonus points and you get an increased rate of earning gp so type those quest commands type those ffas exclamation mark ffas exclamation mark duel quest um dice gamble coin you know you get that idea everybody starts off as a villager rank and the more you watch the stream the higher your rank will get the higher your rank you get um right now i can't link it so you get more um guild points but i'll be introducing commands so if you're like say a a rank you can do command a rank and it will give you extra points something like that it's still in the works today i was a bit busy so i didn't have enough time to update the stream but you get the idea it's it's, it's, in, the, it's in the works which helmet crafting will be more profitable um you'd have to research that yourself but the ones that i can recommend are any of the meta helmets right now because they're always be in demand they're always going to be bought or you could go the other way you can go the hce 8.3 masterpiece crafting so there's two ways of doing it you can go the um quantity way which is uh you just craft stuff for zvz and pvp or you go for the quality way which is where you're aiming for that masterpiece and then you ruin it up to 0.3 and then you sell it to somebody who's going to use it for an activity which requires good pieces of um artifacts ruins and gear hey you know what i'm gonna get on this dice action dice coin oh man what is the best build for pure healer it depends what activity you're doing are you doing um solo 2v2 5v5 group dungeons um zvz it depends what you're doing man it depends what you're doing so normally you do a command and then you um put a number next to it and that's the number of points you want to bet or gamble and then it will double triple or 10 times depending on the commands that you're using solo the best solo build yeah but what type of solo pve or pvp because if it's pvp corrupted dungeons hello full hands down if it's PvE solo, it's going to be difficult to heal. So, I heal and deal damage. You might want to get a Spectre Jacket, but the Spectre Jacket just got a nerf. So, it's not as good as before, but it's still better because it's true damage. But, yeah. Um, it depends. But, Halo Fall with uh, Mist Caller or PvP Corrupted. And then Halo Fall with the book, the Tome of Spells with Smite for PvE is my guess. I'm not much of a healer. I mainly focus on tanking and DPS. I need to kind of level up my healing specs just so I can play Halo Fall and shit on people and uh, show how experience how busted the game is. Hey, nice. People are winning quite, um, quite on it. Quite a lot on and off there is a cooldown for each command that a user can use so you just guys can't just spam it and get points um just to make sure like you get time to like chat because if it was just full of bot commands there'll be no point in um chatting now will there because all you'd see is bot commands no don't do it i gotta turn to the dark side two kids i gotta try the halo fool how do you fight a healer comp in hellgates you have a healer comp if it's double dps you're at a disadvantage they're gonna win 90 percent of the time the only time they don't win is if you're a burst burst combo and you kill the dps before you can kill the healer like before the healer out heals if you're double dps versus healer dps you're um you're screwed there's nothing you can do you need to have healer dps to be um competitive should i say 
you can do it dps dps but um if you're fighting like proper comps you're not going to be able to do anything especially if their healer is experienced or the dps is experienced like they know what to look out for Does that not ruin half of the Hellgate scene? Yes, it does. But uh, this game, there are a bunch of elitists and there are a bunch of um, gatekeepers and there's a bunch of people that just want to win. So there's the side that wants to have fun and experience the game and the side that's competitive that wants to win. And the side that wants to win, um, wins, basically. If you're trying double DPS comps to have fun and chill with your like one of your friends, be like, yo, let's go try some 2v2 stuff. Uh, if you plan to win, it's not going to work out for you, my man. It will work sometimes. I'm not saying it's never going to work, but I'm just saying to beat healer DPS, you need healer DPS. Well, 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 if it's not the monster himself, it is the monster himself. What's up, King? Welcome back. Welcome back. There we go. Do that. Do that. Die 69. I'll do that. Dice. 69, 69, 69. Oh, 69, 420. Bang. I see you're doing your island stuff. Yes. I am doing my island stuff because um, today I had some real life stuff to do. So I started the stream an hour late. Well, an hour and a bit late. Then we went over the patch notes, and then after the patch notes, I started doing my islands. I got a question. Shoot. What's the question? Smiling, trade me 69 million silver. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'd rather use the 69 million silver for myself. Why don't you sell the tier 8 workers and buy tier 7 ones? Because that's just too much effort, and I can't bother to do that. Plus, workers don't sell as fast as I'd like them to. Workers take, like, weeks to sell, in my experience. I don't know about your experience, but in my experience, it takes weeks to sell. Then you got to place the worker down. They need half an hour to get ready. Then you need to give them the journals, and then it might mess up your... Excuse me. It might mess up your daily timing. Yo, do me for 69 silver. No, man, you're going to dual scam me. You're going to dual scam me by taking a sandwich and then I'll dual scam you by using a poison. You'd rather use your earned silver on yourself and not give it to me? How selfish. Of course I'm selfish. I value myself. I value me. I value my time. Because um, I love myself. I like my personality. I like who I am. I like what I do. So, I'd spend money on myself to improve myself. Why would I not? Why would I give money away? Plus, I'm Indian, and Indians don't give anything away, and they're cheap, and they love money. Any form. Gaming money, crypto, real life money, fake money, Monopoly money. Have you seen four to eight Indians play Monopoly? Like, you guys won't understand. It's like a business deal. So be like, yo, you give me your four stations, I'll give you this, but I don't pay tax, I don't pay money when I land on your properties for the next two turns, and every time I pass go, I'll give you like the 400 if I land on go, and it's, it's just like a whole contract. It's crazy how Indians play Monopoly. Even it's Monopoly, it's fake money, but to them it's real, it's business. And business between an Indian and an Indian, especially if they're family, and you know the weaknesses, and you know the like, little exploits and the little tells. Oh my god, it's a fun thing to watch, but it's annoying to be in. I love being broke. Nah, bro, I could never be broke. I've been broke, and I don't like being broke. Any game that I play, the first goal, my goal is to make enough money so I can do whatever I want in game and not have to worry about money. I love asking for money. I never ask for money. The only time I ask for money is if it's a good deal and I know I'm going to get my return off it so I can pay them back and make profit. 
Lifetime contracts in Monopoly? Exactly, bro. You have no idea. Like, Indians playing any type of competitive type activity, even like board games or just like general games, like tug of war. It's crazy. Frank Esco, I'm a newbie, sir. How can I get eight more premium in a month? Frank, the easiest way for new players right now is to do corrupted dungeons. And if you're good at PvP, you do the PvP side. If you only want to PvE, you do the PvE side. Do it for, so it's minimum one million hours. So as long as you do it for eight hours, you'd get um, enough silver. It's one mil silver minimum. You can always go above that. But from my testing, from my several hours of corrupt dungeons, you get a minimum of one mil. That's if you're clearing at a decent speed of like six to eight minutes for a dungeon. If you use speed clearing builds and you're clearing at like uh, 430, five minutes, the profit increases by a huge margin. BRAT. Yep, BRAT. It, people don't like writing, but it's the most easiest way to make your first uh, month of premium. And your first month of premium is going to be game changing because you're going to progress faster. You're going to get a lot of benefits. You're going to get focus, which is just free money every day. But the first thing I tell any person to do, get premium. Oh, you rolled a 661? So 13, yeah, you double your points. Like, even though they nerfed it a bit, writing is still profitable, bro. My, my jaw's hurting from all this talking. I need to drink some water because my mouth's dry. Oh, let me, let me turn that back on. Let's take a little let's take a little break because my jaws are like oh. if you were doing three hces level 18 instead of doing your dailies for 90 minutes you would make more profit no i wouldn't why wouldn't i because then my focus will go to waste then my specs will go to waste then there's no point in me doing farming since there's no point in me doing farming, I'm not going to be able to get... Well, if I do HCs, then I'll get the challenge chest. So I'll be still be able to get my monthly chest. But my focus on farms will go to waste. Then I'll have to rent it out and then I can't be able to deal with the renting issue. So I'll just do it this way. I've never done three 18 HCEs. Like, I can't compare, but we'll see. Dude, first of all, someone needs to take you for for HCEs. Is it that good? Even with the 25% silver enough, is it that good? <laughs> Even the 118, you get one more silver if you get zero loot, any silver. Okay, and how long does a level 18 take? Considering you get the bonus chest also. Mm -hmm. Normally you get 2 mil though. From 12, yes. From So 12 plus, like level 12 plus, it gets good. 18 takes 25 minutes barely so i could just do slayer crafted dungeons and make the same amount of money depends on the map true but i can make one mil well with my infamy i can make two mil every half hour and there's no chest no more you get your map back i thought it was the other way around you don't get your map back but you get a chest with loot how much infamy you got? Um, I got right 1.3. My maximum was 2.5. But um, one day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to test random builds on my main. And I entered 1.5 mil infamy. And then I had to go back and get it. The fame is lovely. I've never actually done HT for fame. 
I haven't done HC for anything actually. I did one test HCE because they just needed players to level up the group and I was like, yo, I can come DPS for you for 10 minutes. And I was like, yeah, that's all we need. And it was like, what, level 8 map? They were trying to level up so they could do something. So I helped them out, but I haven't done it properly. Because all I had to do was just spam my skills and I know how to spam my skills. And in your case, you interlock? Nah, I only interlock when I want to interlock. On my main, it's pretty much uh, good fights. On my alt characters where it's not serious, I like just try and joke about and troll. Well, not troll. I don't like trolling per se. But just testing new builds and testing weird combinations of skills and activities. I know the expo rotation. Get two stacks, you WQQ. He Carly on Cape, he Spaceball Q. Then you WQQE. If you like crossbow, you go one stack. Then WEQ. Q. Then WEQ. It's just pressing WEQ. I know how to press WEQ in specific order. Hey guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We will be answering all your questions. Anything about the game, anything about making money, anything, just general questions that you have. Um, advice? Real life advice? I don't know if I'm ready to give real life advice, but um, gaming advice? Yeah. How to be good. That's a, that's a great question. How to be good, you treat other people how you want to be treated. So if you go to a house and uh, they offer you good food, because you want to, you offer people good food like that, you get the idea. Like when somebody comes to your house, offer them food, offer them drinks, offer them LR, offer them a conversation, you get the idea. How much is good infamy? Good infamy, I say 1 million plus. Once you get 1 million plus, the loot changes. Once you Actually, once you get 500k plus, the loot changes. You can notice the difference at 250k. 500k, you notice even bigger difference. And then 1 mil plus, it's just a good profit. And then if you get to like the high tiers, like 5 to 10 mil, 20 mil, 100 mil, you're going to make so much money. I don't know where the fight command's not worth in Summit. I still got a... I still got a yeah, fight's still broken. Fight's still broken, because that's a script, and I think the script uses a different thingy than um, the, the normal game. I start crafting to for max seconds to sell them or salvage them. Don't salvage, keep them. If you don't need silver right now, if you need silver right now, then sell them. If you don't need silver right now, keep them for when there's a 25% fame boost and study them. But since they're tier 4, you can just sell them. Keep the tier 5 and tier 6s because they'll be beneficial to you, but you lose more profit. But if you're on a level faster, then uh, studying's the way to go. Is there a cap on infamy percentage bonus? Yeah, 100%. 100% is the cap, so you can double the bonuses. Four houses left. Flashy sell them, buy mats for profit for another round of crafting. You could also do it that way if you want. Should I do corrupted dungeons outside of Kalyon in red zones, outside zones, or main city banks? David, what I do is I do it outside of Kalyon. You just do it outside of Kalyon. You take all the loot, sell it to the black market. You don't have to worry about nothing. Black market is there to take all your loot and sometimes give you a better profit. Things you need to not sell to the black market are certain artifact items, certain meta items, and faction capes. Some faction capes are better just to sell to the normal market. Some faction capes you sell to the black market. Any satchels are inside, any bags you sell to the black market. Oh shit! Flash Shy just rolled 666 and he 10 times his investment. So he is probably the top point leader now. Yo, 
This guy just become one of the top points in the matter of like 30 seconds because he diced and got 666. Congrats, bro. Yeah, you're leading. You're leading by 6,000 points. Scratch, scratch, scratch. So you can either gamble the points or keep them to be um, number one position. Well, I'm number one, but because um, I'm the streamer, so I, I have a bit a jillion points. But you're number one total. Um, deposit all of this. Oh, now do we need to get our herbs? Yes. So we need to go get. We need to go need to do our herbs. It's still broken, Summit. I'll have to fix it later. Hey, Anton, you uh, three times your points. Mr. Double this points. Everybody starting the betting, the betting again. Am I gonna PvP later? If I get time, well, I will. But um, I started the stream a bit late today, and I've got to make dinner for the family today. So depending on how the timing works out, if I can get some PvP in or PvE in, I will. If I can't, then we'll have to wait for Saturday, and Saturday I should be able to start on time or a bit early, and we can have like a proper stream session Saturday. As long as nothing comes up in real life and nothing happens um, like emergency will be good damn it what are you gonna cook boss i'm gonna make uh so you know tortilla wraps right i'm gonna make uh instead of making like tortilla wraps i make of heaters and stuff like that I'm gonna make tortilla wrap pizza. So you want the tortilla wrap, you put um like pizza based sauce, then cheese, then all the ingredients of pizza, but instead it's on a tortilla wrap, so it's nice, thin and crispy, and you bite into it, you don't taste a lot of dough, you just taste like the delicious sauce, the cheese and the ingredients. That's how I make my pizza now. I tortilla wrap it. I don't buy like pizza bases and I don't like like a lot of dough in my pizza anymore. I like the thin crust, nice crispy just like you buy it and um you get a good um what do you call it you get the ingredients texture not the not the like doughy texture with like ingredients on the top big brain i know bro i've been doing it for a good a good eight years now so you, you can either get the small fajita ones which is like that big or you can get the tortilla ones which are that big and i normally get the tortilla ones because they fill you up that's like a meal and then the fajita ones, um, they're good with like sides. So I make potato salad, garlic bread, uh, like um, cheese garlic bread. Then if I'm fe if I have time, I make um, some some type of mozzarella stick type thing, but it's a little bit different. Why are you so cute? Why is your accent so amazing? Oh, thank you. I don't know. Um, I guess my accent's from living in the UK. It's like a British mixed with a bit of Indian. Well, it's actually quite a lot of British because if I talk like this, most people, if they don't see the webcam, they think I'm white and they think I'm like a uh, proper British. I turn on the webcam, I was like, yo, you're brown, no way, dude. And I was like, yeah, I'm brown. My voice sounds pretty white though. I was like, yeah, your voice sounds pretty white. But Evelyn, welcome to the stream. Let's go one island done. It sounds like a New Zealand accent. No way. Well, what's New Zealand accent? I've never heard a New Zealand accent. True. I might have to Google New Zealand. 100% true. It is true. I've had it happen to me in Discord, two kids. Like, I'll join a Discord. I'll start talking to, like, a new guild. Start talking. It's like, yo, 
you sound so white. It's like, are you British? Yeah, like I, I'm from the UK. I'm British. And then um, they see me stream. It's like, yo, you're brown. I'm like, yeah, but I've got this voice, and it's pretty dope. I like the voice. You probably don't have a thick Indian accent, but could you say PUBG Mobile? <coughs> but yeah, PUBG Mobile Ramuta. You get that for free. Next time it will cost you points. What do you think? What do you think of my Indian accent? Hmm? I could start being like Indian Kulsata. When I saw your video, I thought you were British. <laughs> See, exactly, bro. If I didn't start doing the webcams or the live streams, everybody thought I was white. I could do like an Indian call center. Like, hello, do you have your credit card details available? I would like to um, interest you in this gift card. You must first go to Amazon. You need to buy $50 Amazon gift card. Then you need to scratch the code and then you need to text me the code. That way I will give you your prize money. You can make sound for PUBG Mobile. Yeah, one of the one of the points is Indian accent. Have I like my friend? My friend, buy this rug. My friend, you want some tea? My friend, my friend, my friend, I need your credit card details, my friend. Just because I'm Scottish, I am curious how you pronounce Glasgow and Edinburgh. Well, that's how I pronounce it. I from India. What's up, Cody? How's it going, my man? Glasgow and Edinburgh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the the Scottish way of doing it, but that's that's how I see it. Only Glasgow and Edinburgh. How do you get? Well, I, you're not gonna talk. So, how would you pronounce it if you spell it out? My friend, like the video. My friend, you need to subscribe to channel. My friend, turn on the notification bell. My friend, don't forget to support the channel. You become member, you get good benefits. My friend, you have PayPal. I also have PayPal, my friend. Glasgow? Why would it be Glasgow? It's Glasgow. It is Glasgow, right? It, who would say Glasgow? Dude, that's 100% Indian stuff. <laughs> well, I, you know, I've got the genes to do the Indian stuff. Are labor still profitable? Yes, Panda, they are still profitable. 100% profitable. Depending on the tier. A lot of people say it and it infuriates us. Well, I'm glad I'm not one of those people. My friend. You're my friend. Um, that's good to know. So when I do go to Scotland, once all of this uh, COVID stuff's come down, I do want to go see um, the Scottish scenery, castles, the Harry Potter section, all of that stuff. Uh, with my wife as a like a two, three day, like a weekend trip. Those are normally good. So we'll see what happens. I'm probably I am probably going to go to Scotland. I'm going to go near the top, like near Manchester. We're going to go like um, exploring the UK. We'll see where it goes. Um, have you ever tried rapping? Your voice sounds like it'll be good for it. Um, no, I do like rap music like Eminem and a few other artists, but I've never tried to like hardcore freestyle or rap because uh, I'm not really good with English, but I'm pretty good with maths. So that's how it balanced out. It's like I'm good with science, good with maths. English was like a little bit low. So language and like rapping and talking fast hasn't really been my thing. But you never know. I could give it a go. I recently saw, um, what was it? Mo Kali, Mori Kalipo, whoever it is, do Eminem Rap God. And she was on fire. She was killing it. That virtual YouTuber. Like, oh my God, the YouTube algorithm. You kick on one virtual YouTube algorithm, like one virtual YouTuber, like channel clip. And then your whole feed becomes virtual YouTuber clips. I was like, holy shit. But um, they're cliffhangery, catchy, and bait, like clickbaiting. And yeah, it works. It works. Um, 
go to Brazil, Kappa. Brazil! We in Brazil! Fast and the Furious! Nah, I can't go to Brazil. That's that's too far. Mm, did I miss something? Scotland festival scene is greater than England scene. Highly recommend it. Yes. Um, I've been to I've been to Sonosphere in the UK. Why do I have two hundred why do I have 226k coins? Hello? Did my cell order X finish? How much is two two six one two three? What's the price? Two eight ten? Not bad. I uh, I'll still keep it though. I just read solo leveling and it's fucking amazing. Exactly. Now you see why my background solo leveling. Where's that? I can't go desktop catcher because the game's running. But yeah, you get me. Solo leveling up there. One of the best, if not the best. If I had a little bit more side character development, it would be the best. Um. I'm doing the mass for XL right now for crafting capes. That's a good way of doing it. If you... Or you could check Google XL um, crafting Albion Online. There's probably people that have already set up calculators that you can just download and save. Make a copy and you can edit yourself. Go to Germany to drink some beer and bretzel and worst. I don't drink alcohol. Um, but I eat meat. I don't eat cow though because cow is sacred. So I'm a Hindu. I'm not a hardcore Hindu, but uh, my parents was like, you can eat meat, but just please don't eat beef. And I was like, cool, that's a fair trade off. Um, I don't mind not eating beef, but eat like everything else. And I don't drink for um, personal reasons. It w At the start, it was religious reasons because Hindus not normally drink. But then as I grew older, it was like, yo, I don't think I can trust myself to drink because I'm crazy. So if you and I've put barriers up. So if the alcohol brings the barriers down, the crazy just gets out in the world. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to wake up in a ditch somewhere. And then the next day, people are going to be looking for me. So, yeah, I don't drink. I might try it, though. The only alcohol that I have drank is Japanese sake in one of the like, you know, the restaurants. You get that little, little sake. Um, it was in Japan. So I went to Japan ate like a shit ton of Japanese food like ramen, karaoke, um, oyakadon, katsudon, uh, uh, what's it called, um, tofu, then um, soba, yakisoba, went to a festival, went to the stores, it was so brilliant, like I love Japan, I love anime, if, if this is working, so it's not working but there's normally my background and my background is just full of anime stuff. Oh, I don't know why it's not working. There you go. Browse. Gonna go to video. We're gonna go to... No, we're gonna go to desktop. And click here. Then Albion Online. Is it videos? Is it videos? Albion Vid Stream. We need to go back. Go back. Stream. Where's stream? There you go. And then bang. That's not what it's meant to be. Uh, nope, wrong one. It's this one. There you go. The gold is a scam right now. You always try. You can always try Polish vodka. Uh, we sell Polish beer. I have a tr I haven't seen I don't drink either. Hey, welcome Anton. Fellow not drinkers. Bro, I've drank more alcoholic stuff than you. Congrats. You need to try more shit. Nah, I'm good. I'm happy with where I'm at right now. Oh, we were wondering if I can rap. What can I rap? I could probably do like Linkin Park in the end. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. That's about it. Round the town, man, tried so hard. You know, you get the idea. I don't really do like fast traps. Let me listen to it. Do Papa Roach. Papa Roach is dope. I'm more of a heavy metal, instrumental, anime OST, orchestra, uh, quite a few other things. 
How do you have so much gold? Because my cell order didn't go through. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, there you go. Smiling, can you react to clips? Um, I'm not too sure I want to do the reaction stuff. Like, if you play audio, if you play music, if you play like a clip, people can sue you. People can request to take it down. People could take legal action. And that's not, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of scared of that side. Like I don't play DMCA like copyrighted music. I play stream beats or um, NCS, um, some effects if I feel like it. You get the idea. Um, maybe later on we'll have a point system like um, react to clip stuff like that. But normally I just uh, I just enjoy talking to you guys, like answering your questions, stuff like that. Well, if you have a problem with having too much gold, you can always spend some with me. It's a clip from your Twitch. Nah, man. I don't trust that guy. You can't trust Smiley Monster. He'll sue you. You know, the Twitch Smiley Monster is different from the YouTube Smiley Monster. The YouTube Smiley Monster is nice. The Twitch Smiley Monster just streams corrupted dungeons and he, he's become pretty toxic. Yo, Kali, what's up, man? I'm not really toxic. I only get angry when I fight. Um, put stuff, Halo Falls, Girl Seekers, One Shot, Weird Ass Builds, Frost Staff. You get the idea. What do you do? Uh, right now, we have read the patch notes, did laborers, we're on farming. We started a bit late today, mainly because uh, some real life stuff. I just got a phone call saying I need to do something at 9, not 9, 8.30 in the morning tomorrow. So as long as that gets finished, I can um, be here for the YouTube video premiere. It shouldn't take that long. We should be okay. And then tomorrow I work on the video for either Monday or I work on something else. He's built different. Exactly, bro. Do you buy seeds from the merchant or auction house? I buy seeds from the merchant because I'm lazy. But with the global discount, you should buy seeds from the auction house. The auction house is cheaper. But for me, for convenience wise, I'm not making it's not about profit for me anymore. It's just about getting the herbs so I can um, craft. So right now I buy from the merchant. Where's the base nature stuff for group dungeons? Uh, if you want to focus on the tank, great nature. If you want to focus on anything else, then I'd suggest um, wild stuff. Light stuff has been buffed actually, and rampant stuff used for ZVZ. So if you want to level up the ZVZ stuff. I think you should make stream highlights of some of the best questions and answers. It go good with your video subs and increase into streams. I was thinking about that. I was definitely thinking about that. However, I thought I'd just um, I'd watch over my streams, get a list of all the questions that are asked frequently, 
and just make a video of like frequently asked questions on stream and then whenever after i make that video i'll answer all the questions in the video and if anybody in the future like asks a question i was like check out this video it um does all the questions in stream and you guys can get like a whole just like a compact area we have all your questions answered and if it's not answered you can come back and um pop in and ask your question how much full of seven tier islands you make a day each laborer makes roughly five to ten thousand silver depending on um the prices of resources and journals so it depends make around 300,000 per a laborer at max profit and like 150 to 200k man I just fucked up I ejected my opponent out of the crop and driven bear close jump and he was one hp next to the crystal feels bad man feels bad uh freeze got me in contact with about joining liberia but wants me to get a mic and have an interview yeah so um the reason why they want you to have a mic right they want you to have a mic because in ZBZs, um, if you have information, they want you to say it. And generally, if you have a mic, you, you're more into the community. The more into the community you are, the more like friendly you become, the more people you know, the more you group with people, etc. An interview is just mainly to check. It's basically to tick the, the, the boxes. Like, are you a dick? Are you a trolling dick? You're going to steal some stuff. If you're not going to do any of that, you're, you're good, bro. I don't really know the recruitment process because I was like, yo, smiling, you get an invite. I was like, cool, thank you. Because uh, I was in the guild Nullify and the Nullify guild merged with Liberium or Librium. What is it? Is it Liberium or Librium? Or like, I don't know how you say it. Like Equilibrium or like Liberium? Who knows? Yeah, you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, but yeah, they have, most guilds have a recruitment process. Have you tried the gym? No, Kali, I have not tried the gym. Mainly because uh, real life has been a pretty hectic right now. And my schedule isn't like on point where I can start going to like spend an hour going to the gym. Most of the gyms are closed as well. Like near my area. Some of them are open. But um, the one, the two that I was looking into, they're currently like renovating or no longer open. So when it probably opens may when every, you know the was it may 17th may 12th i don't know what it is but you know when everything like fully opens again um maybe they'll open then and i'll have a look but right now i'm focusing on getting my youtube content schedule up to date make sure i stick to the like three day video three day streaming and sunday is like rest day and then if i get enough um my schedule's on point i'm gonna start trying to go sunday like the morning take that day or saturday in the afternoon because then i take sunday like the morning as a rest you get the idea i'll still figure it out though yeah i started watching equal streams because i love to um, stream highlights yeah that's another thing my streams right now are um educational and they're informative and once so the first two three hours is me doing my daily routine so you guys can ask your questions you guys can learn anything you want about the game and i'm thinking i've done enough of those streams i've been doing those type of streams for roughly um like two to three weeks now so quite a lot of people that have subscribed have got their on questions answered so i might try and do um my dailies before stream and as soon as stream starts like finish off my dailies or do like the crafting side and then we do pvp pve whatever we want to do because most people come here to watch the pvp pve they don't come to watch uh, me doing farms or crafting but they like to get their questions answered you guys watch me do my crafting and farming and you get your questions answered so it's much appreciated thank you guys for being here it helps me out a lot and um like i i always say this to myself like i could play by myself just listening to music but uh i'd rather help new people out or like beginners or just people that want to ask questions so i stream yeah and my streams are super chill. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not one of those toxic streamers that goes angry and yells and shouts and starts cussing. All of that. No. We we have fun here. You laugh. You joke. You have a good time. I enjoy watching what you're doing. Thanks, man. Maybe we'll change it up. Maybe we'll do like one streams like PvE. One streams uh, this side, which is money making. Maybe one streams PvE. 
we still got time to experiment we're still a new streamer we're still a new content creator we can experiment with our channel we can experiment with our streaming you got to find what you want to do what you're good at what the viewers like and then you got to build on that so i know you guys like the corrupted dungeons and you guys like the guides and money making videos based on my youtube for streaming you guys like when i answer your questions and you guys um like the how to make bank series there's still like maybe two or three more how to make bank episodes left i'm still like i've taken a break because i've given you 20 guys 20 guys 20 videos so once i get the proper information for the other methods i'll post them for you nah yeast at least that's all right man dice i like hc kappa i know you do you've been talking about it for quite some time currently you're actually my favorite streamer thank you man much appreciate it Compared to like all the other streamers out there, you're telling me I'm your favorite? That's, uh, that's a good compliment. Thank you. Made my day a little better. Find a monster. Go to... Find a monster. Just calm. Hates you already, man. Today's not a good day. I started late and I gotta make dinner. Normally I start on time and I don't have to make dinner, but today was the day where both of the combos happened. So we'll see what happens. HC is cool, but you need money to start. I think I got on oh no, a wrong character. I got an eight mil on this character, but on the main, I've got like 50 mil. That's enough to buy like an 8.3 set. Also my favorite, I just discovered you. Welcome David. Thank you. Also guys, don't forget if you're enjoying the stream, if you like uh, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, Hit that like button it helps out with the youtube algorithm and it makes it so other people can like see my youtube channel see my streams they discover my guides it will help them out like it's helping you out what about a cheap set and farm sale i could do that what you mean doing dungeon with great x i'm literally struggling it's slow as hell yeah 10-1 the changes bro the changes especially if you have low spec now what you want to do is crossbow Crossbow, light crossbow, bow casters. It's the way to go. They changed Great X. They changed the E also. That's the... The Q and E was the thing that made it really good. The W is not bad too, but you get the idea. I'd say favorite streamers is you, then my best friend, and then Burnstar. Oh, who's your friend? Who streams? Is he streaming on Twitch? I might know the guy because I generally tend to look into the new streamers and pop into their chat and talk for like five, 10 minutes. So they get like a boost. Cause like when I was new streaming, when somebody came in and started talking, it was one of the best like boosts of morale or like energy you could get. So I, try, I tend to do that. There's not many YouTube streamers. It's like Burnstone, me and Equal. And then some like Russian guys, like two Russian guys. I don't speak Russian. So I did pop in and say hi. But it was full of Russian chat and I Google translated some of it and then I, I then I bounced. But yeah, I normally go to Twitch and hang out in Twitch. What is the best way to make money at different levels of cash? Like I have 50 mil and people tell me not to do laborers. Some tell me food and potions. Some tell me HC set and some tell me focus refining. Well, laborers is a huge initial investment. That's why people tell you to not do it. But if you plan to play the game for more than um, like three to four months, it's well worth investing in laborers because after those three to four months, it's just pure profit. Um, refining is always going to make you profit and it's fairly easy to level because there's only five nodes. But food, potions, cooking and crafting is going to make you the most profit because it has the most nodes. So you get better focus cost reduction. You get bonuses when you level the food for the focus cost reduction to other nodes. And um, for so right now the best profit is enchanted cooking and um high tier crafting so like the 8.2 8.3 7.3 6.3 crafting that, that's what makes you the good profit in crafting and um refining can also make you good profit but if you're refining high tier stuff it takes normally longer to sell so f the rule is flat and point one fast to sell fast to refine you get your money back in a couple of days enchanted like 0 0.2 0 0.3 like 6.2 6.3 7.2 7.3 8.1 8.2 8.3 they take time to sell it can take anywhere between a couple of days to like weeks 
But it depends if you want pure profit or if you want like um, returnable profit. Well, I have about 17,000 with 8.3 outstanding. Um, I think any armor piece I wear, I'm max. Yo, Smiling, can you appear in a bank for a sec on this monster? I mean, on this um, character or another character? I can go to Kalyan Bank. Yeah, sure. With HCEs, you need 1750 for 14 plus maps. Usually, no one chooses you. I really haven't done the HCE side. I might do the HCE side. I might exp I'm getting Albion Burnout because I'm doing the same thing over and over again. So I think if I try something else, like I've done the faction flag, I've done the PvP side, like Corrupted Dungeons, uh, maybe I do some HCE. I try HCEing and then I try Hellgating. Those are the two things that I don't... Also, so the things I'm looking into are HCE, Hellgates, and um, road content. Because those are the three things that I don't do right now. And I'm thinking if I do that, it'd make uh, my gameplay a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to look into that stuff. Yo, my man hooking me up with the herbs. You're going to see me craft with the herbs. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. That's going to make me some tea poison today. Bang. There you go. I'm f I'm finally getting the streamer perks. I I've seen other streamers like random people just come up and trade them. I was like, wow, that's cool. And people like give you free shit. I'm actually getting free shit. Today's a good day. Favorite streamer, getting free shit. But then again, two kids always um, hands me some food. He gave me a fish, a tier two fish. Then he gave me um, six tier seven fish. And he gave me some other stuff. And now he's giving me herbs. I think you're trying to get me to cook you some food, my bro. Do small scale roads, it's fun. Roads and HC is my main content. Do you think the patch is going to change corrupted dungeons content much? Yes. The patch will change the meta. The patch is definitely going to change the meta due to the Guardian Helmet change, due to the bear paws, weapons. Curse stuff's going to be a bit more. Um, quarter staff got nerfed, but it's still going to be top tier. You'll see the meta shift in a couple of days. Hello, I got a join. Yeah, if we do any roads content, we can have a we can have a little Discord thingy going, and the. Uh, the regulars can hop in and we can do some content. That's why I'm always broke. Well, it's much appreciated. You're making an Indian happy. If that makes you feel better. Um, there we go. What do we need? Oh, I got to give you things too. You don't have to, man, but it's appreciated. Like, I'm kind of okay right now. I'm okay. But I, the, the thing that I was lacking was herbs because I need more islands because I'm um, I had a good stockpile but I'm crafting faster than I'm um, getting my returns so I'm currently running low on tier 7 and tier 8 herbs as well as like pumpkin and a few other things so I might need to change what I grow or might um, just to buy the materials but you're good Kali you give giveaways on burnstone you give like a mill silver boy so that's um, that's good too. It's like, what is it? Um, I was ZVZing with Dream Thief, like Faction Flag ZVZing. And what is it? Um, some guy, I think it was Neo, or I don't know who it was, but he just comes up, trades him 50 um, Cam Land sets, just the armor pieces. What is it? Knight Armor or Judy and a few other things, like weapons and this and that. 50 mil worth. And then he does next day 10 more worth of like camlands and then next day like 100 maces like wow that's crazy that's what a streamer is like that's when you make it you make it when you get a community but like other streamer benefits and perks are interesting hey thank you for subscribing ma4 sit ma4 sit mad cat forest there you go mad cat forest that makes more sense. I see. I know what you're missing. See, yeah, you do, two kids. It's because we always do near the herb potion area. It's either near the herb potions or the hunter lounge. Hunter lodge. My ping was like flashing red on and off, but now it's okay, which is good. And the Black Panther. Oh, I didn't know you gave away Black Panther. My friends have a guild island and Fort Sterling, but I'm thinking of relocating to Carleon for my main city. 
how inconvenient is that compared to profit gain so if you use the black market it's not inconvenient at all if you're using the black market for your crafting it's well worth it 100 i moved all my islands to carleon i don't regret it i get rid of the headache of transporting i get rid of the headache of um getting ganked in the red zones i get rid of the headache that i have to move my gear to make profit and i just log in do my dailies have fun make a couple more silver every day so i can buy sets and then go out and use the sets Mylan, you must donate for me some stones in Burnstone's channel. Um, I think I gambled all before I left, but I didn't see the results. So I might have won or I might have lost. I don't think I have that much though. I pop in like every 10-15 minutes just to say hi and check up on Burn. And like talk to him about a few things. Uh, just liven up the stream a bit. But uh, normally, most of my spare time, if I'm not streaming, if I'm not editing videos or recording footage. I mean, if I'm not... Um, playing the game it's into recording footage and streaming so most of my time gets cut into editing streaming recording footage writing scripts making sure everything's good with the stream channel points all of that but um i'm gonna try and do more solo content like solo roads um small scale roads also like five man seven man parties two man parties then i'm gonna try maybe hate to eat if i feel like it i i want to do it at some point and then I'm going to try Hellgates. Those are the three activities that I don't do a lot in Albion. I do like group dungeon fame farming. I do corrupted dungeons. I do faction warfare. I want to get back into faction warfare too. Like fame farming with Dream Thief. It's pretty dope. It's pretty fun. Not fame farming. Faction flagging. Because uh, Dream's just an entertainer, bro. I'm tank, so armor matters for DPS. The armor IP doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's just weapon IP. Yeah, living life with the wife. Like, that's why Sunday's a rest day. Sunday's the rest day. You enjoy it with your family. You take a little break from editing. Take a little break from gaming. You rec recuperate your energy needed for the, the six-day um, work schedule. Yeah, exactly. That's another, that's another big thing. Like, I'm recently married. I don't have a lot of uh, relationship experience. But this is all kind of new to me. So I'm still learning the process here and there. And I'm learning like what she likes, what she doesn't like. Stuff like that. You get the idea. Like right now, uh, we don't want kids. We, we just want to enjoy the relationship. So we're enjoying the relationship. Oh, smuggling worth it. Transporting is definitely worth it. So is trade missions. Uh, is it profitable to make tater potions and beef stew? Yes. The higher spec you have, the better it's going to be. I will be making tier 8 poisons later on in the stream. Well, pretty soon actually, because this is the last character. Last character has got, got 20,000 focus. So we're going to start with refining. Then we're going to go crafting. And then we're going to go food and potions. If you are a relationship to work, never had kids, and just live together for some fun times. Yeah, but Evelyn, if I have like two kids, then I have a tank, my wife's gonna be a healer, and then I got two DPS. So my family's just gonna be my gaming party. How awesome would that be? Obviously, I've got to teach him how gaming works and stuff like that, but yo, if I get my own little party, it's gonna be like the smiling party. And then we can invite like two random people to do some shit with us. And it'll be my it'll be my kids like, yo, dad, I'm gonna kill this guy. I was like, yeah, son, you killed that guy. That's that's the dream right there. That's if my kids are into gaming. If they're into sport, it's gonna be a bit different. Cause I'm not a sporty person. I'm more of a like um techie, um gaming, like all of that side type. And then it's the like fit and healthy sporty type. And you get the idea. I have I'm I'm either you either one or the other. Sometimes people are both, but that's kind of rare. Majority, it's either like you're a gamer or you're like a sporty fitness person and you're popular and this and that. Gamers can be popular too. Gaming is popular now. Like when I was at school, if you were a gamer, you watched anime, you're considered a nerd. Now, um, there's not much that much of a prejudice against them. 
But yeah, it's uh, it's a good time to be alive. I can't wait for virtual reality to kick in. Once proper SAO type virtual reality kicks in, that is my life. Hmm. I have a kid that can say it's worth it. Yeah, well, Indians are big on family, bro. Like, Indians are big on family, big on heritage, big on like... Uh, one thing I don't like is the social caste system in Indian... Um, um, well, just Indians in general. Like, the social caste system. Because, like, there's different castes. So, there's, like, Chogam, Bajgam, Sattavisgam. There's just... It's just, like... So, there's, like, the center. And then the more out you go, the less of a social status you have, I think. In real life, kids pull up. If your kids play Albion, would you give them silver or just tell them to watch your series? Ooh, Evelyn. That is a question. Fuck. Oh, what would I do? I'm Indian, so I'd keep my silver, but I'm British enough to dote on my sons and daughters. I think it would be a compromise. Alright, so here's like a couple mil silver. Go watch my videos and learn how to turn that couple mil silver into even more silver. John Lee, smiling monster. I love your videos, brother. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? You're just in time to see me start making profit. So we've just finished our laborers. We finished our player islands. Now it's time to make profit. So first off, refining. I'm gonna deposit all of this. We go to Limhurst. Sub, click like, and rang the bell. You are one of the good people. Thank you, my man. Much appreciated. It helps me so much with the YouTube algorithm. You have no idea. Watch time and interactions between videos and chat is what is needed. Because before it was um before it was different before I started doing YouTube, but now it's all about watch time and the interaction. So thank you again. Very good, thank you, sir. What better is to craft salads or stews or poisons? Um, I craft poisons because they sell really fast. Salads and stews, they're used for buildings and they're used for um, crafters or craft dungeons when they need it. If you want to sell and make profit like that, potions, poisons. Tier 8, tier 4. Uh, uh, thanks, bro. Much love from hometown Texas. Oh! I was meant to visit Texas and I was meant to visit like that area, but COVID kicked in. So th there was an Indian wedding. There was going to be an Indian wedding in America. And we are planning to visit like um, quite a few American states because most of the f so, like 30, 40 percent of my family, my, like my dad's side and mom's side is over in America. So we were going to do like a whole family tour. Not my thing personally, but um, the parents wanted to do it because they haven't seen their family in a long time. It was like, OK, I'll, I'll hop along with it. I bought my laptop so I can make videos and I can do stuff there. HT is Houston? A Town, Texas. Houston is in Texas? Like, I don't know nothing about American geography. Houston, Texas. Let's Google that shit. Map. Oh, wow. Okay. Holy shit, that's pretty big. You're near Mexico. New Mexico, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, uh, this is too, too uh, geographical advanced for me. But anyway. Oh, we don't need this. This can go here. We can take this. Take this also. Am I not on the mount? I am on the mount. <clears throat> yeah, it's Texas. Living in India for 27 years now, ever seen a discrimination or people asking what my cost is, is super rare. Living in India for 27... So what are you, uh, 10, if you don't mind me asking? I'm guessing white, white or black. Many, those are the races that go... Oh, Asian. Those are the main ration. Eh? Roman YouTube. Hello, Aditya. That's interesting. First person use my... Well... It's on my email, so you get the idea. But yeah, what's up, bro? Welcome. David Farrell, hello, hello. Um, cost description is super rare in... It's all about money. Exactly. 
You got the money, you got the social status. It doesn't matter who you are. Malin, I'm gonna lend you my bear. Which country do you live in currently? I'm in the UK, bro. I'm in the UK. Uh, you got it good. What do you mean? I will get it good once I become an actual uh, full, fully fledged YouTuber and streamer. That's when it becomes good, bro. That's when you can play games for a living, make videos, chill at home. You get the idea. It's going to be dope. I, I probably need to buy a Pi though. I need to buy a Pi T7. Because uh, I'm currently overweight. Uh, dismount. Oh, I didn't get the Pi, did I? There you go. It's 12 a.m. here now? I don't need your bear. Why do I need the bear? Are you talking in party chat? Oh, don't worry, bro. I bought a, I bought a thingy. It's cool. I can't see because it's region overcrowded anyway. But thanks for, thanks for the offer. Uh, Cost systems are round, but mostly in villages now. I'm Indian, so I know the reality there. I've been there. Um, it's mainly for wedding purposes. So if you get married and you're from Chogam and you marry like a Satyavisgam, whatever it is, they don't want that to happen. It's less rare now. So my generation are going to be open-minded, but my parents' generation are still in the old, like old system, which is like caste system. My generation are all like um, Western culture, all of the, you know, up to date. They don't really care as much. You get the idea. What you have to do? Okay. So my wife's giving me a deadline. You gotta be downstairs by 30 minutes to help me make the food. I was like, okay, I'll be there. Don't hit me, please. I'm just joking. Oh no, it went up to 50%. Feels bad, man. Looks like a... Uh, oh, 12. We're gonna go over there. Perfect. You're overweight? I'm not anymore. I'm good now. In regards to the title, what... You get the chance. I would like to ask you about elite bear cubs, cost and profit. Are they worth crafting and raising? If it's the faction ones, definitely yes. If it's um like the faction ones, if you have rare mount breeding, it's definitely worth it. If you're new and you don't have any spec in rare mount breeding, I wouldn't invest heavily into it. I would trade somebody else who does that. But um, it depends on your spec mainly. Monster, I have a question. What's better, the TA Grizzly uh, for weight capacity? A bit cheaper, less than a Mammoth? Anything in between? Um, I think it goes Spectral Boar, Grizzly Bear, um, TA Wild Bear, then it goes Mammoth. And then, no, before Ox, then Mammoth. Goes Ox, then Mammoth. But I don't think anything beats the mammoth or the grizzly bear or the thingy in weight capacity. Dude, once my finals are over, I'm gonna go get some silver. Nice. I am Indian. Jeshi Krishna, Namaste. Um, Jay Swaminarayan, Jay Maharaj. There's a lot of J's and Jeshi Krishna's and stuff. Hi, bro. What's the screen settings you share? Can you share with me? Yeah. If you're thinking about the widescreen settings, I just did a video on it yesterday. So if you go to my channel, you go to um, the best FOV for ganking and um, ZVZing. But if you want a quick uh, demo, let me just go here. Once that's done, go to game settings, go to video resolution. You create a custom resolution. Mine's 1920 by 800. And some people say 1920 by 900 is also good. So I'll test that out. Spectral Bear, Grizzly, Ox, Tier 8, Wild, Dire Bear, and then Mammoth. Yeah, that's probably the right order. Bro, from 1.5 mil Ox, Grizzly, Direct, 100 mil Mammoth, what the fuck? Anything should be in between. Yeah, it's the Tier 8 boar. I mean, not, not boar. Tier 8 Wild. Press N. What's um, B? So, the next best thing is this one. 2,700. Then it goes Mammoth. 22k 
after this it's the ox which is 2.2 and then it goes tier 7 grizzly which is where is it is it tier it is tier 7 right is it not tier 6 where's no grizzly yeah mr grizzly i don't i don't see the grizzly I'll show you here oh no wrong character but yeah it's built so the mammoth is the thing you want for transporting. Oh, is it possible to try world boss if you have a small guild or casual players? Um, it's definitely doable. As long as you have 10 people, like two healers, one tank, one off tank, rest DPS, and everybody knows what they're doing, it's uh, it's definitely worth it. And the, the, the benefits of doing it is good, especially if you're faction flag. Is it worth going Carly on hideouts for the extra 3% RRR oh, of its resource to turn it? Um, yes, because it's basically, it's free and you're not going to die. The only way you're going to die is if you don't take the shrine or you mess up your timing. Um, but it's mainly due to tax. So if the taxes are different and it's cheaper in the crafting hideout, it's definitely worth it in the crafting hideout. Grizzly is tier... I was at tier 7, bro. Tier 7. I don't see no Grizzly. Look, there's no Grizzly. Then again, there's no Black Panther. There's no Terry Black Panther. There's no Grizzly. Frost Ram? Yeah, there's no Frost Ram and there's no, um, there's no Husky tier 7 as well. So it doesn't look like the monthly mounts are there. My stream is a few minutes behind. Uh, well, I'm gonna say bananas now, and you can tell me when you hear bananas. Um, what's the best silver making with the new pairs? Non premium. Right in corrupted dungeons. Arcane essences. Or market flipping. Is what I would say. Grizzly is a premium reward because it's a special mount. It's seven, seven mount, one three reward. That's why it's not there. Black Panther special mount, premium rewards. Yeah, it's a premium reward. Why not sure? You'll be able to use the mounts at tier one. Tier one? No way. Oh yeah. Well, it's okay. I, I get what you mean. I get you mean because it's from here. You can use it at any tier. It's just that the mount is tier six. You don't you don't have to be tier like six to unlock the mount. I get the idea. I get the idea. Makes sense. Makes sense. Bananas check. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Thank you. You able? Hi, hyper. Hello. Welcome to stream. Look at the base adventure tier for the event mounts. Raffle has started. Raffle one thousand. Well, I don't need to participate, so I'm just going to do raffle one. I'm riding my panther and I'm not tier eight. Makes more sense, David. Yep. How many Indians here? Raise your hand. If you're Indian, raise your hand. I'm Indian. Do arcane essences sell on the market? Yes and no. Um, it depends when a potion crafter buys them, basically. Um, but it takes a couple of days. In a couple of days, they should, uh, they should sell. You should get the money. Bananas! Wow, you're quite you're quite far behind, um, Kali. It was like thirty seconds, twenty seconds. That happened when I was on Burnstone Steam. Like I re, re uh, refreshed the stream like four or five times, and it refreshed at the same rate. So I lost twenty seconds because it was just going back to the same rate. You're Indian, but you're so fluent in English. Yeah, because um, my parents came from India. I was born here and then I've been traveling back and forth between India and here. I, I'm I'm a UK citizen, like I'm British, but I've spent like a good six months to like a good um, four months every couple of years in India. So I'm, I'm basically British, but the skin color is brown. So I'm Indian. So I'm British Indian. But if you didn't see the webcam, you'd think I was pure white. Like, as we said before, if I'm in Discord and people don't know I stream or don't know who I am, they like, yo, you sound so white, you sound so British. 
it's the accent. I don't think I have that much of an accent, but when you hear other people talk, you you can tell like yeah, you got um you got a little something there that's a bit different. <sighs> cool. Uh, wrong one. Deposit. There you go. Log in. Is it working? It is working. Cool. Monster, you know Hindi or Indian language? Um, Kemcho Baya Sarote, Jeshikashna. I can speak Gujarati. I can I can speak seventy percent and understand seventy percent. I can't read or write, and I know like ten percent Hindi. I know the basics of like greetings and certain words when you use it with like Gujarati, but I don't know like the full like term of like certain things. Because like since I'm from like the UK mainly, um, knowing certain terms and phrases is a bit difficult. Um, does the India accent come out a few weeks when you come back from a holiday in India? No, my Indian accent comes out when I start speaking to my parents or when you start speaking to my wife because I speak to them in Gujarati and you get that little Indian like hello bear, kevote sarote, like that type of the Indian accent. Giving the kids a small loan of a million silver. Yeah, of course, there's an interest too. That's very true. You sound cool Asian. You're a very cool dude. My brother loved the British accent. I do too. It sounds pretty boss. It's good for the tutorial videos, isn't it? So, Smile and Monster back with another video, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you, and you're like, yeah, this guy's gonna teach me. No words talking about language. Yeah, I know a bit, yeah, yeah. How do you flip in the black market? You go to my YouTube channel, you go to the video that's coming out tomorrow, you find the black market tool and the black market flipper tool, and you press the button, and it'll tell you how to flip. But if you don't, just wait till tomorrow or you go to my youtube how to make bank 11 and it'll teach you how to flip with the black market flipper which makes life like 10 times easier maybe even more you never know you never know it's probably more it's it's way more so crafting we're gonna go we're gonna have to craft some soul size i'll do that uh take say cool we're good Hey, Flush Shy is winning hard. Waiting for the video? If not, yo, I can give you a quick demonstration. Let me go desktop preview. Uh, YouTube. Actually, we open. Where is it? Okay. Go here. Bang and bang. So there's two tools. I'll be on Black Market Master. I'll post them in chat for you. That's the first one. And then there's I'll be on Flipper. Bang. So this one gives you more of a customized look. You can select the armor you want, the gathering gear, whatever you want to add. Um, and you can select... Um, you can only pick five items. And you can pick what quality. So we'll go like standing, tax, expected returns, whatever, start, let's go. And then it will tell you like what items, buy price, etc. Estimated return. Currently looks like none of these random things that I've picked are here. And then there's another one you called Albion Flipper. You set the parameters here. You press find flips. And it basically does all the work for you. There's a tutorial over here. Gotta wait till this bar comes up. And then bang. Some of them are outdated. Most of them are very old. Just be careful. But it tells you what item it is. How much you're going to buy it for. What the city you need to buy it for and sell it for. So Martlock currently for Sterling, Martlock, Martlock for Sterling, Martlock and Carleon. That's where you're gonna buy and sell. It's gonna make you profit. But since this tool exists, it's gonna be really rare for you to find stuff in Carleon because everybody just has it to Carleon and they just uh, they make money like that. So you're gonna have to transport now, bro. No offense, but the Indian accent seems funny to me. It's meant to be funny to you. I make it a funny accent. It's like Russell Peters. You know what the Indian's accent's good for? Cutting tension. To imagine a serious courtroom. 
like drama and be like your honor my client would like to blend guilty tension's gone russell peters bro russell peters oh yeah there's a bot that prevents you from like spam capping or like capping spam caps Basically, anything I spend focus on on is better and cheaper to do it than spending silver, right? E raising chickens instead of buying them. No, 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 no. John Lee. Watering um, plants, watering crops, and nurturing animals do not do with focus because, in the long run, the focus is going to be better spent cooking, crafting, refining, or um, potions. The reason it's like that, if you look here, so say you're raising, say I'm raising cows. It gives you a specialization bonus just for the cows, nothing else. But if you do potions, cooking, crafting, or refining, you expand here, it gives you a bonus to that weapon, so double bladed stuff, and it gives you an extra bonus to the other weapons, like all the other quarter stuffs. So ideally, you're in the max one tree, then you're in the max all the trees, and after you max all the trees, it's gonna be more beneficial for you um, to do the four things I said, rather than, um, Nurturing and raising animals Deadly weapon. That's why you do it that way What tier laborers are you using? I'm using tier 8 laborers, tier 7 houses, tier 6 journals What's a good way of making money in Carleon? Gank people that are trying to get into Carleon Faction flagging also too Cool, so we need to food like Eat that, click that, give it some potatoes and then we do quarter stars. Okay, there you go. Move that down a bit. Well, transport runs if I die in blue and yellow zone, do I lose my stuff? I don't think so. They've changed it so blue and yellow zones you don't. It's red and black zones you do. But if you're faction flagged, I believe you get downed. And if you're doing trade missions, you lose the trade mission. But um, just quickly Google it because I, I remember they're doing some change with the faction warfare call to arms update. But I can't remember right now off the top of my head what it is. If somebody in chat remembers, feel free to type it in. Why did you give him food? Because he's got crafting capacity. He's got durability, but he doesn't have food, food supply. And the reason I gave the food is because this stool pays me silver for giving him food. But if you look here. Every food I give him, he pays me 2,150 silver. Now, if you give me a, a bit to explain after I finish my crafting, because I don't want to waste my food buff, I'll tell you why it's well worth it to do it that way. No, I'm right about it. Cool, thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Hello, that was funny. Gank people who are trying to get into Carleon. It's the truth, bro. People are trying to come to Carleon. They have loot. Kill the people that have loot. Easy money. Thank you for the help. No problem, bro. No problem. You get knocked in the blue and yellow zones, but if you have cargo, you will drop it. Cool. I knew there was something to do with trade missions. Like, you drop it in the zone. If you're faction flag, you drop it in the blue and yellow zones. And in the red zones, you just die. Yeah, yeah. So, now that I've finished crafting this, I have a little bit more. Uh, I'll have to use my food again. Okay, so you click on this guy, right? If you click on the panel, it goes to the administrator panel. And then down here, it tells you its favorite dish. So its favorite dish is potato salad. So you always want to feed it its favorite dish because you get the most benefits. You get extra food um, supply and it gives you... So this guy, per a thousand nutrients awarded. So per one and a half foods, I think. No, one food is one and a half, 1,500 um, nutrients. I think all foods are different, especially if you give it its favorite food and non-favorite food. But this guy's paying me 2150 every salad I give him. So if I do that, I'm going to be paid in silver um, a certain amount. Look, silver worth 31000 Okay? This guy's tax... This guy is tax is 8% usage fee. And it tells you you get rewarded 2150 for giving it food. Now, we go to the next closest one. Okay, before we go to that, there's one more thing you got to know. A quarter staff cost 794 silver to craft at that station so if we go over to this station to craft a quarter staff it costs me 2000 extra silver right but if i go here we split that put that back it costs me 4336 silver per potato salad i get 2000 back when i give the food 
and it costs me 2,000 more to craft here. So basically, I'm spending um, the tax that would cost me here to craft it here for cheaper. If you, if you get the idea. So this tax is 8%, that one's 30%. And that's why I do it this way. You lose your cargo, but not your items. Yeah, in blue and yellow zones. If you're faction flagged. If you're normal flagged, you just get downed. I mean, yeah, if you're not flagged, you just get downed. And in red and black zones, you die. And you lose all your stuff. Um, got your food again. What food do you use making during marketing, making weapons, and why? I use potato salad. Like, you don't have to go enchanted. If this, So if you're doing, like, basic class, like, flat crafts or point one crafts, I wouldn't recommend you use expensive food. Use expensive food for, like, the higher tier, higher enchantment foods. But the reason you use potato salad is because it increases the crafting speed. Um, not by zero. I think that's a bug. It increases it by a certain amount and increases the crafting quality by 100. So the more crafting, so you're basically just um, using it to get random masterpieces and random excellent pieces of gear. But we need to craft uh, this. We can craft three of these. One, Let's get two. To uh, is that worth it? No, it's not worth it. Okay, so we'll just do it two. In the video, do you explain about laborers? I explain the tools and I will help you. If you're looking for a laborer guide, um, Yetta, go to my YouTube channel and type in how to make bank laborers and it will give you a video. I think it's my most viewed video and it tells you everything you need to know about laborers. Just type in how to make bank smiling monster laborers and you should get what you need to know. In which video do you, oh, in which video do I explain? How to make bank laborers. Sorry, I read that wrong. That's complicated stuff. I will look into it. Yeah. So if you want to save money, it's all about taxes. If you're getting paid. So another thing, right? And um, that one pays you for food. But if you look at this one, because it's by the same guy that like boggle, he pays you for the food. If you go over here, they don't pay you for food. This guy's paying you 2,200 for food. This guy's not paying you. This guy's not paying you. This guy's not paying you. You can see above um, tip available and nutrition per thousand. And that's how much money you're going to get. So this guy pays 2150. This guy's paying 2.6, 2.6. So we just change it. You get the idea. You get the idea. Banana check. Wow, that is that is old. Banana. Banana. I see, thanks. I'm actually investing in spectral ball for transport, but I guess it'll be much better if I don't lose it. You don't want to lose it. Try not to lose it. It's a bad feeling when you lose stuff. Like legit. Like, I've died quite a few times transporting when I was starting out in this game. Oof, it's not a good feeling. Was it everything? Um, I need to update the potato salad, though. Herbs, potato salad. Gonna split 200. Put that back there. Uh, that goes here. That's that character done. Now onto the next character. But yeah, if you have any more questions like that, feel free to ask. Because it looks like after I finish my crafting session, which is like another 20 minutes, I'm going to have to end the stream and help my wife the cooking. So if you have any questions, ask away. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Um, Dude, you're rich as fuck. Well, I'm Indian, so it's a, it's a given. No, I'm just joking. Um, I spent a lot of time becoming wealthy. Wealthy-ish, kind of. Crafting. Da, da, da. And da. I spent at least two years getting to where I am. And now I'm okay, so I don't have to worry about... Um, I don't have to worry about that much about silver and set costs. But since I'm Indian, it's always there. Like, oh, you bought it for this much? You could have bought this and enchanted this and it'll be much cheaper and you would have said like 30,000 silver. Yeah, that voice is always in the head. The British side is like, yo, go have fun, but don't worry about money. And the Indian side is like, no, you need to worry about money. How to not be broke, be Indian. Do you live in India? No, bro, I live in the UK. I live in the UK, but I am British Indian. 50-50 mix. 
Well, not exactly a 50-50 mix. I forgot my potato salad. Uh, I expected the line, I'm Indian, I'm rich, it's coming. Not a lot of Indian people are rich. They're, all, they're, they're well off. Not even well off. They're okay. They're middle class. But in game? In game, yeah, I'm rich. Normal life? No. In normal life, uh, I'm, I'm your average Joe. My family is average Joe territory. But in game, I can I can flex the Indian like math skills and Excel spreadsheet skills and be like, yeah, I'm Indian. Yo, Undead Barn. Seven deadly sins? It's got to be seven deadly sins, right? Oh, I should change I should change my yeah, that that would help. There you go. I have six islands and two characters with premium in the fewest words possible. What would you begin to make the most bank if you PvE? Utilize farms by planting herbs or crops. M make or rent out your islands, either two ways. Then you can add laborers to get more profit. If you don't want to do it that way, just rent out your islands and just do um, HCE. Yep, my dude. Come on, anime, obviously. I see you love anime, manga, seen your posters and whoop it. Yeah, bro, look at this. I'm sure you can Currently, what I have right now in my um, in my section of, well, my dad's office, but I took it over, so it's mine now. It's my streaming room. But if I go to my room and go get my all my anime stuff, you guys will be like, "Yeah, this guy's hardcore." I got one more question. Sorry, no problem. Why did the music stop all of a sudden? Continue playing. Oh. Um. Anyway, I'm thinking what is better for more profitable. I'm making like crossbows, and I'm not sure if to focus making tier six. Which one is better to master? Um, bot botos. You just want to stick to one thing. The more you stick to one thing, the more you level one thing, the better it's gonna be for you. So just stick to that one thing. The profit will come. I've given away twelve islands. I have like seven people using them for free. You're too nice, Kali. I'm too Indian for that shit. Can your in-game richness somehow be turned into real life richness maybe? Yes, that is why I'm becoming a streamer and I'm making YouTube videos. So maybe that smartness in the guides and the money making videos. I make guides for you guys. You guys like the videos, you watch the videos, you subscribe. It boosts my subscriber count, my like count, my comment count, whatever it is that YouTube wants me to have. And then I become a full-time content creator. So my money in-game, my knowledge in-game, turns it into real life money by getting ad revenue and whatever money youtubers get i haven't looked into it but i probably should because the british side is like just make content and the indian side is low it's like a business bro you gotta you gotta make it like a proper business type thing but yeah you get that naruto yes that's cool i know how much can you get from renting one island if it's just farms i think it's 250k if it's farms plus um like laborer houses i think it's like 500k Potato salad. Help yourself. What's the name of the enemy above No Game No Life? I got you. I love Soul Eleven Warplay. My profile is exactly the same. Jin Wu. Exactly. Everybody who comes after I finish crafting, everyone who comes to watch, please make sure you like the video. It helps out, brother. Thank you, Future. How do you feel about Soul Leveling? Up there, bro. It's up there. What? What? What was the? No game, no life. No game, no life. No game. This no game, no life. That's parasite. Parasite. I can go over. Get a kill. Hit Mary Bond. Attack on Titan. Date alive. Pull corner basket. Strike the blood. Fairy tale. Attack on Titan. Infinite Stratos. Um, Bleach. Sword Art Online. Crook on a basket. Naruto. Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, Akame got kill. Seraph of the End, Noragami, Assassination Classroom, No Game No Life, Parasite, Cold Gears, One Piece, uh, Seraph of the End, Black Bullet, Black Bullet, Akame Got Kill, Guilty Crown. If you're interested, most of them are good. Most of them are pretty dope. Wait, what, per week? What do you get per week for renting on islands? 250k. 
250k for a fully maxed out island per week. Yo, you can trade me now. Sorry, what is it? Oh no, food. I've got to give it food. Are you trading? Oh, you're too busy fist fighting. Who's gonna win? It looks like uh, Mist is gonna win. Have you read Over Gid? Yes. It was Black Bullet. Over Gid's good too. Um, Legend of the Moonlight Sculptor. The Breaker. The Breaker's dope. Breaker New Waves also. There's so many good... I'm a hardcore anime fan. Like old school otaku. I'm not a weeb. I don't like the new saying as the weeb. Hardcore otaku. Old school cool. I'm old school. Like old school. Gonna do... What do you want to trade? You are giving me a million silver? What has the world come to? I'll take it, thank you. I don't know what the change of heart is, but much appreciated. Where's your fish, bro? You need to give me a fish. The tables have turned. Fish. Fish. <laughs> fish or salad. I'll give you one salad. Oh, I, I, okay, then I'll give you 69 silver. I was going to give you... No, I, I don't do you. I need to finish crafting. You're sidetracking me. My wife's going to yell at me for not coming to help her cook. Oh, oh, well, that Hopefully that wasn't my wife. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Craft, 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 craft. My turn to get on. I know I should be doing classwork, but I think it's worth. Dude, he is rich. You should ask money from Smiley and not give it to him. No, JJ. I need I need my streamer perks, man. I need to feel like, oh, I'm a streamer now. But yeah, you don't have to give me nothing, but it is much appreciated. I'm Indian, so I'm not going to refuse. Anything free, Indians love free stuff. Even if it's like uh, a tier two fish, which two kids gave me, I still took it. And I edit and I got fishing XP. Hello, Indian star. SBI nerfed everything. I like what do you guys think about the patch? They did some weird balance changes. Some of it was needed. Some of it was just a bit weird. Um, it happens quite a lot of the time. The meta shift will change in two, three days. You get an idea what the shift will be. Now I can loan money from him without thinking I'm scamming him. No, no, no. That's not how it works, bro. You gave an Indian money for free let me repeat that you gave an indian money for free let's get to work you know how much pe indians love free shit especially if it's money you gave an indian free money that was hce money by the way good to know maybe i'll do some hce stuff huh oh i moved out the way You give me a potato, I'll give you three set. No! You just want to give me a potato? I'll take that potato. Yeah, I'm going to eat that. I'm going to use this potato later on. Don't you worry, bro. Eat dinner with chat? Uh, it's family dinner night. And since I'm cooking, <laughs> they're going to want to be like... They, they weren't going to want to rip. Not rip the shit out of me, but they're going to be like bantering. But like, oh, you made this? Are you sure you made this? Did your wife not make this? You get that there. Enjoy breakfast. Gonna help the wifey. I'll be back soon. You stream later, brother. See you later, John. See you later, man. Then play more. Yeah, I need to change it here and there. But don't worry. I got you guys. I got you guys. That potato stays there. That's a, that's a special potato. <sighs> cool, cool, cool. It's getting kind of hot though. Next up, blood pain. So two characters left. And then I gotta go help my wife.
before she comes upstairs and starts yelling at me. Excuse me. Oh, fuck. I don't have... Shit. I messed up here. What should I craft? Craft Bridled Furies. Let's craft Bridled Furies. Uh, let's craft some Bridled Furies. It, I'm gonna make a bit of a loss here. Because I'm not doing it through buy orders, but... Um, I need to start raising the spec in Bridal Fury. Me at Carleon Bank. I have some fish for you. Boss is stocking up. How to make bank streamer loot when? <laughs> I'm fairly new, bro. I don't have that much of a streamer. Like, that much of a following? Or, like, I'm still new. So, people don't know that I'm streaming on YouTube. Um... Yeah, you should do buy HC, Apen 3, Masterpiece, to be honest. If you want to make more silver in HC, play Halifor Healer, since you can heal yourself and ensure you're not going to die. Delmine Zero? Is that you, Kali? Oh, I believe that is you. Cause... Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I'm going to put this to... Eh? One at a time? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Look at this man, Kali. Oh, Saddled Grey Wolf. I'll use the Saddled Grey Wolf. Dire Wolf too. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Today's a good day. Saddle Swamp Dragon. I I love the Saddle Swamp Dragon because it has no um, movement speed penalty. 103, 103, gallop and movement speed. And then I really want to use this and the Elite one because it's got the skill. Oh, wait. What's my Dire Wolf skill? I don't know what my... Direwolf skin is. What do you mean, right? Oh, this is a new character. Appearances, mounts. There you go. Spectral Wolf. That's the one I have. If you have this skin, the Ghost Wolf skin, it's the rarest skin in the game, and it costs billions of silver. I can't move now. I need to switch back to my Grizzly Bear. There is none. <laughs> Making him richer. The rich get richer. As the saying goes. Uh, oh, wrong character, wrong bank. But yeah, thanks. Much appreciate, Kali. I will definitely... You know what? I'll use these, these two, when I go solo uh, roads. No, I don't want to destroy it. That's a gift. That's a gift. I don't know when to use this, though. I'll probably use it when I go gathering, to be honest. I don't really go gathering as much anymore, but we'll see how it goes. We'll, to, uh, we'll keep it in the inventory. Nah, I'm not gonna sell them. I don't sell. I don't sell gifts. I use. I use the gifts. Nah, 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 nah. I use the gifts. It's like a personal thing. If you gifted me something, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it. Oh, nice. We got a couple of bridal fury things. Looks like some of the bad ones didn't sell. Here you go, so the price Oh, kiting bad one's gonna be a bit more annoying. Even though the multi shot got a nerf, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit more annoying. Nice uh, preserved rocks. Six one zero zero one go up by two. Ellis sickles six six nine six or five that would do. Halved bones need to go up by quite a few. There you go. Everything else looks good. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Is there anything small that you'd like? No, I'm good, man. Thank you. I'm good. That was more than enough. Much appreciated. I'm definitely going to be using the Dire Wolf when I go um, Road Ganking. And the Grey Wolf. They both look pretty dope. Mount's potato is the way. Is the way. I show you the way. Uh, 6,000. Yes. Eat one. Split this by... Four. Give it four. Submit. Craft. Masterpiece. Hopefully it's masterpiece. One and two. Bang. 
normal and outstanding. I need to go buy more. I need to go buy more. Uh, how many more should I? It's kind of expensive though. I ha it cost me two thousand. I've got roughly eighteen thousand, so I need to buy nine more. Uh, I don't want to auto respec, but okay, we'll buy nine more. We'll buy nine more. I'm losing like twenty thirty k silver, I think, per craft. But I'll take that loss mainly for spec crafting. Are you sure? Shh. I have an extra 10 mil. I'm willing to spend across the next week. I'm not rich. Just give me time to make happiness. Dude, you giving me stuff makes me happy. Don't worry about it. Give me it to me instead. I'm broke. I prefer to donate across two to three people, but yeah, it's good at doing it. Distributing it. Uh, what, did I, what did I need to buy? Oh. Need and There you go. Tier 6. Oh, it's expensive. And buy nine. No, I can buy eight at two fifty. Um, take all. Oh, there you go. Best way to donate silver is buying stuff that doesn't sell and trading it. Give it to me, help for premium. Best way to get premium, bro, rack off the dungeons. Or if you're good at PvP, do the Corrupted Dungeons. Hi, Smile. Hello, Moonlight. Welcome, welcome. Uh, 9 to 18,000. You want a Grey Wolf? The Elite Grey Wolf? Nah, I'm good, man. You've already, you already donated enough. I'm good, I'm good. You're good. Um, food. Let one. Put it here. Eat the food. Going to... Yeah, don't worry, bro. You already gave me a sign today. It's good. I'm happy. I'm gonna do that. Deposit this. Give it food. Craft one by one. Deadly choice. Two, three, four. Any excellence? Any... Oh, nice. Excellent. That's gonna sell. Definitely gonna sell. Two... Three and last one. Bang. So I crafted two excellence. That should give me quite a bit of profit. Bunch of beggars out here. Give it to me. Raffle nobody won. Do you recommend a guild? Um, it depends what you want, Moonlight. If you want um small community type guilds, look for small to medium sized guilds. If you want to do PvP, ZVZ every day, you look for big guilds that have mandatory CTAs. Damn, you're rich. I'm struggling to get premium every month. Why craft one by one? The reason you craft one by one is because um, the focus cost reduction. So every level you get, you get bonus focus cost reduction. And if you craft in batches, it doesn't stack the focus cost reduction. Also, if you're doing it with auto respec, you want to do one by one because every time it reaches the threshold, it goes to the next level. If you craft in batches, it's gonna uh, mess up some of the experience. Can you recommend a guild for gank and rolls? Yes, the fleet. The fleet, fellow content creator Levi or Levy. He is from the fleet. He's got really good content on small scale, roads, ganking, faction warfare. It's it's really good. Um, it's a really good, like small to medium sized guild for PvP content, small scale. Uh, what am I doing? So, no, I don't need to sell. What do I need? I'm, okay, I'm good. I'm going back to... Oh, wow. You see that? My MS and thingy just spiked. As long as my stream's okay, we're good. Uh, we go. So, go to crafting, deposit, book, and book. That goes there. That and that gets deposited. All of this stuff gets deposited. So does this stuff. 
Uh, equipment. Ali's mounts go to equipment. And food. The food is special. Where's the food? Yeah, the food stays there because it's special. Crafting. So we take this, 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 this. That stays there. Everything else. Clean me out, you take that, you don't need that, that goes there. That can go there. I'm gonna stack. Never stack and sort. I've set it up and I've stacked and sort two times by accident. And then I had to rearrange. Ain't hey, Kylie's mounts the smiling mounts. Yeah, but you know, they're special. There you go. I'll use them, don't worry. I'll definitely use them. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Um I think I sell these to the normal market. 800k 700k yeah okay so we'll see the price difference in black market and you want a moose nah bro i'm good i'm good maybe saturday but today i'm i'm more than happy i'm good oh no some of the soul sites not selling okay so ooh, yo i've got oh you know what? Sell four, 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 four. Dang. Sell three hundred and fifty seventeen, roughly the same. We'll do that. We sell two of these here. Two. The rest gets sold on the normal market. Two six nine. So extra profit. 700k, 700k, so 50k profit. Uh, 100k pro uh, looks like quarter staff profit's gone down quite a bit. Recently, anyway. Recently, profit's gone down. There's nothing I can waste my silver on? What do you mean, waste your silver on? You keep it, you invest it. Well, actually, you have 25 accounts or 25 characters, something like that, so you already invested. Go with, um, I don't know. What should you go with? No idea. Smiling, accept the trade and trade me the mount. Come on, you can waste some on me. <laughs> uh, you know, if you give me stuff, I'll add it to a giveaway. When I do stream giveaways like Burnstone. I might do the giveaways if you want to do it that way. If you prefer me to do it that way. Tell him to waste money on me smiling. Kali unsubscribe. You can waste money on me. <laughs> Laborers, come on. It's a 444k item. Badge minute mile two. Pull it. Gonna smile a monster. I'll be a regular for almost a year. Help a brother out. <laughs> Has it been a year? No, I start August, September. It's been, or well, almost a year. It's been six, seven months. <clears throat> Where, what are you, Nepali? No, bro, I'm Indian. But the voice is British. So British Indian. It confuses a lot of people. Do you speak Tamil? I don't speak Tamil. I speak uh, English, Gujarati, a bit of Hindi, and anime Japanese. Nihonjin bakari maska omai wa shinderu nani? Like that type of stuff. I can I can get by in Japanese. Like watashi no namae smiling monster des yoroshiku hajime master boku no stuff like that. You get the idea. Uh, cool. Oh yes, we're gonna use the herbs that we got today. Yo, two kids. I'm gonna craft your tier eight poisons. Uh, this this one of these. Yeah, see, I got enough to craft tier 8 poisons. Perfect. I knew I needed some. It's been more than six months. I started when Corrupted Dungeons came out. I started streaming when Corrupted Dungeons came out. You you just said five minute ma auto. Yeah, that's good, right? That means I'll be down in five minutes. Uh, I'm still streaming. I still need to finish uh, talking with you guys. I'll be down in five minutes. Cool. First craft, let's go. Welcome, traveler. 
Okay, 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 okay. He's Mexican? Uh, nachos! Type reason spamming. <laughs> oh. Nah, I'll just mute you. Mute mystery thing. Uh, yeah, 40. Yeah, we go to Kambuki. My favorite Fando account has been following for almost eight months. Well, there you go. Eight months it is. Okay, smile. I got to go, buddy. See you around soon. Good day. See you later, Roman. See you, man. How you talk Nepali? Was that Nepali? Well, Nepalis are a mix. Um, um, like some of them are in not Indian. They're Hindu, right? Because some of them are the Hindu religion. So maybe some of the languages like mix back and forth. What does uh, Aochu mean in Nepalese? It means I'll be, I'm coming. Like I'll be there in five minutes. Hey man, I'll leave from a patch note review. What do you think about the changes and what do you think the meta will be? The meta is going to shift in two, three days. Um, you're going to see less bear paws. You might see a bit more curse. Guardian helmets might be re they whoa oh not food hey it's kimbuki yo this guy this guy owns all of these stores right here so if you want associate rates message kimbuki message kimbuki for associate rates Free promo on stream. There you go. There you go. I'm doing my part, Kimbuki. Oh shit, JJ is here too. Hey, nice. I sense chemistry here. <laughs> there you go. Start crafting. <clears throat> you want a giant horse? If you're going to give me anything, I'll take an elite Grey Wolf just because it has the skills and it's pretty badass. Do laborers profit, bro? I get 100k profit. That's from 60 laborers. What tier? Tier 5, um, they start to make profit. Tier 6 and tier 7 is good profit. Which country you are in now? I'm in the UK. UK, London. Should we start farming Cursed, I think? Cursed is always going to be good. Cursed got countered by Guardian Helmet. But with the God, because of the damage over time um, reduction. But with the Guardian Helmet Nerf being not as good at above 40 percent health you might see a change and you might see more cursed offs because cursed offs were mainly um not played because the guardian helmet got rid of the dots and you can get rid of that every 30 seconds right however now you see guardian helmets less often people might be playing more cursed offs also um spectre jacket mercenary jacket spectre hood mercenary jacket is going to be a much used combo so mercenary jacket price is going to go up Spectre hood prices are going to go up and damage over time effects um, weapons. So like curse staffs, fire staffs, um, poison arrows or bows, anything with damage over time axes. Yes. I don't know if bear paws, bear paws are going to be used, but they're going to be used more for aggressive chasing play styles, not hit and run kiting play styles. Where are you? Let me see the map. West corner of the map. You look at the west corner. It says all the shops are owned by Kimbuki. This is Kimbuki. He's a fellow viewer like you guys, and he bought all these plots in Kalyon and gave me associates. So if you want to support a fellow viewer, um, just uh, message Kimbuki for associates. There you go. He said hi. But yeah, if you see here, the profit's going up. We just keep making profit. No, don't kill me. I'm sending you more people, man. I'm sending you more business, Kimbuki. I'll do more by party email here. See you later, man. See ya. I'm, I'm going to end stream in like 5-10 minutes anyway. Because it's almost time to help my wife with uh, the cooking. It's almost time to help my wife with the cooking. So, yeah. But thank you for stopping by. See you, dude. I'm going to do that. West side. Almost done. Butter, more butter. Oh shit, stacks of butter. Thank you, JJ. 
what is today what's happening today i'm getting like free stuff and people are telling me nice things is tomorrow gonna be different wow what five mil no way you didn't have to buy this oh my god i'm hesitating oh my god i want it though thank you i'm gonna work oh my god i got my first elite gray wolf happy to see an indian streamer uh, I'm gonna walk back like this. Hi, bro. Can you say hello, Vanny Lim? Hello, Lim. How's it going? Hey, he just killed himself. Nah, man. This, this is mine, mist. This is an elite gray wolf. I can't target. Invalid target. Oh, you're dueling. Can I not? Okay, I need to go back on this. <clears throat> I got you, it's nothing, dude. This is so cool. You guys see the abilities? Hunter's Mark and then in Spite. Cool. Now we go back and change. Well, actually, my wife did tell me five minutes ago to come help her. So I'm probably going to have to go um, help her. And I'll finish the last 10k focus craft after, after food. Hey, man, do you know a good way to get people to join a guild? Or do you have a video I can watch so I can learn about it? um joining guilds is a difficult subject because different people are looking for different things so it depends on the person and the environment you want to join i don't think there's a video that teaches you how to recruit people you just got to find people that are like you and want to achieve the same goals as you that's the best advice i can give you but yeah guys um i'm gonna have to cut the stream a bit short because i gotta go help my wife make dinner uh she sent a message saying like where are you it's been 30 minutes and that was five minutes ago so if i waste any more time it's gonna be like um come upstairs and turn off the switch and i don't want her to turn off the switch so i hope you enjoy your mounts i'll start my speed run in cool well enjoy your speed run Kali. thank you guys for watching we're going 24 hours let's go bro yeah cool catch you later bros uh, thank you for watching. If you can like the video, it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe so you know when I release new videos, when I go live, and hit that notification bell so it gives you a pop-up saying that Smiling Monster is live or is a new video. Also, um, video tomorrow is more 10 plus tools. 10 plus tools that you should use in Albion Online to make your Albion gameplay easy. To make it, um, it's basically like having a pocket Indian. Because all of them are pretty much calculators. So instead of thinking for yourself, you just like pocket Indian, use the tool. They give you the output and numbers and it makes your life easy. But yeah, see you guys Saturday.